Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna start earlier than the countdown timer guys today. Thirsty Thurston here with Sneaky as the couch potatoes. Hi. Hi guys, and today we're going to do a live reaction on the Ubisoft Forward show. Uh, the pre-show is already going strong, so um, we're uh, just gonna tap into that and just uh, join them. Um, at the end of this stream, I am going to do a giveaway of my own, um, but the Ubisoft guys have uh, uh, giveaways of themselves as well. They have codes in the bottom of the screen, as you will see in a few seconds when we switch the screens. And um, yeah, you guys can try and claim the codes, but probably other people will be uh, will be quicker. Yeah, I know Daniel Raptor is streaming this too, but we are cooler. Right? Right? Please stay here. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, let's see, so what's the pop-up? Mm -hmm -hmm. What are you guys saying? How are you guys doing today, by the way? I see Gambin is here, I see Daniel is here, Jeremy is here, Miguel is here, Booster, of course, big ol' big ol' fan, and uh, yeah, haha, <laughs> agreed, nice. Um, giveaway will work. Ah, thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> no, that's okay, when you say that, it's okay. <laughs> I hope they don't do it the same way as Watch Dogs 2. I hate how if driving to a mission it will randomly pop up with an online operation, which is really annoying. You I can, don't know. You could turn it off in the game if you didn't know. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's optional. Ah, uh, thank you, Tim. Hi, Tim. Hey, Liana. How are you doing? Welcome, everybody. So today, uh, Sneaky is here as well. Coach Potatoes. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Yeah, boy. All right, well, let's uh, switch over to the main screen and see what's going on, what Ubisoft is doing. So uh, give us a second while we uh, switch it up. Um, yeah, let's go. Boop. Uh, hi, guys, we are in the bottom and you can just read the codes. <laughs> All right, Objection Thurston is not the best YouTuber. Chungus, I love Ooh. you too, buddy. I love you too. <laughs> that is Chungus, we know. All right, here we go, guys. And I need to turn this one on, of course. I do not have to make it across this terrain. Uh, Melinda. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give this one to Rich. I'll give this one to Rich. I, I am mean, in the cactus also, lands. I should have also gave the uh, previous one to me, too. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you asked nicely, so, you know. True, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got Chris out of third. <laughs> uh, not All a great round for me. All right, let's go to our third and final map here and settle who the real champion is. If gonna be richer ah oh, thank oh, you daniel right. well, that's we're nice coming into the final rounds what will i give now, away miguel uh i don't Red, know yet you have been but it's gonna probably gonna, gonna be a very so far, cool game big old big old triple a game i think he's, we'll he's see fast, but we'll see okay if you if you want to watch talk to the free game feeling good you feeling you should log into you play if, uh, I like it. Belinda, I in the pre-show and before please, the like, end of the not. main show, is that then a, you that should have uh, okay. Watch Dogs 2 in your Uplay account. No, ah, yeah, no, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're all pretty close. Oh, crap. We are. He's hit, he's little bumps. <laughs> yeah, bumps Dave is a pretty cool one, too. <laughs> are very hard to maneuver over. Oh, yeah. This, this race, wow, these are special uh, like, tracks. Look at this. Yeah, they're like rounded. It's, uh, it's, uh, I think it's custom made. Oh, that's weird. Wait for a little trouble. people. Oh, God. I think that's, really that's like an editor keep or something. Keep it going. Wow. All right, Chris. Nice. Seems up. hard. I'm going to need you both to beat Fred, please. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to recruit us. Uh, yes. You're right. <laughs> now we're all Ooh, flying off the track. Far Cry down. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Keep yeah. track of the bottom UB screen, guys. Rich. Is that yeah. a promise? Uh, we have uh, you play Plus, <laughs> so I don't need to claim them. <laughs> yeah, we'll be rich. Can people? Oh, people rich. can't see the. Yeah, they can. Rich in. They will. No, no, because they, these look like right. eyes. They were like yes. with my hand in the way. It's <laughs> sit like down, it's sit something down. else, you know. It looked mm -hmm. like. Uh, I'm gonna take it. That's I'm fine. Take a number one spot. Yeah, at least that's one better. Yeah, that's better. Take it, gang. Broadcast. For now. I'm happy with three. I like oh, the bronze. Man. Hey, Axin, what's up, buddy? <laughs> we are doing well. I am it's doing good. There. I'm doing yeah, great. I don't know how he's doing Looking forward to the show for a long time. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the you play. No. Oh, no, 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 How are you doing, Sneaky? Doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Oh, man. So what are you looking forward to this show? I think the most these points are adding up. Watch Dogs Legion, I think. All right. Here we go. I think Just because they give away it. Watch Dogs 2, you know, I think <laughs> <laughs> that will be the impression. Yeah, that they're probably going to release Legion soon. 
Well, it was, was delayed, right? It should have been here, here oh, in March, April. In April. April, yeah. Or March. I don't know, somewhere in the beginning of the year, though. Yeah. Q1. And they delayed it without a new date, so maybe... They've done that before, yeah, right? We were talking about that a few weeks it. ago, oh, that they right did that with another game as well, that they quiet, delayed really it or they yeah, had a new place, game announced and it just came one. like two oh, days or no. two weeks after the E3. That's so bad. I don't know which game it was anymore, but they did that. Wasn't that Far Cry? One of the Far Cries or something? I don't know. But it was pretty cool. Yes, 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 yes. Um, why is, well, the timer at the top, Daniel, is for the main show. So this is the pre-show. This is uh, the pre-show of the Ubisoft Forward. And the main show starts in little, in little bit shorter than an hour. GG's, but um GG's. yeah we're just Done. curious at what they're doing uh, and they have the giveaway our, uh, keys at the bottom play kind of competitive segment here to an end uh i want to thank you all for participating uh belinda you know what I sucks well I i'm hungry i, I know I right ate like I two hours before and i'm hungry Listen, it's it's fun to get Ooh, out that sucks well maybe later during the main main thing we can get uh, some popcorn or whatever cigar this time around are you plotting your revenge already i'll get them next time Oh, Richard, maybe not. Just <laughs> I've just been informed. <laughs> hey, Baltimore's, how are you doing? It's been a long time. If there is a next time, I don't think he's going to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> and thus a rivalry is born. Or maybe continued? Yeah. Yeah, yeah continued. Definitely. Oh, nice, Joe. Nice. Welcome. Thank you for joining so much. Uh, folks, coming up next, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the map editor and some of the creation tools in Trackmania. But first, uh, let's do a little sure. schedule check-in. Knew it. After our yeah. Trackmania segment here, it's going to be the ah, look, guys. Forward pre-show at 11.30 a.m. Pacific time, where we'll be seeing some AI teammates coming to Ghost Recon Breakpoint, getting Ooh, an update from the finally. crew, too. Trials Rising will be showing off a fan favorite, and we'll see a whole bunch more games on display. Oh, then yeah. at noon Pacific time, when that timer runs out, it's going to be Ubisoft Forward, the main showcase, Watch Dogs Legion, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, some new announcements, and more. Don't want to miss that one. And after it's over, stick around for an in-depth look at Assassin's Creed Valhalla. That's all coming up here shortly. But oh, now, yeah. I've got Augustin DeVita, producer at Ubisoft Nadeo, the creators of Trackmania, joining me to talk about nice. creation in Trackmania. Uh, Augustin, welcome. Hello, Chris. So happy to be here. Oh, man. Exciting times for you. you yeah. Your game has just launched. People are out there racing in droves. How does it This feel? game just launched? I great. think so, yeah. It just wow. feels I don't know. Uh, the game is really, really good. It's really an evolution of Trackmania, and we couldn't wait for it. I like and it. Also, a folks are out custom, there, uh, uh, yeah, creating. Just some track we creation right here. We, we're seeing some uh, map creation sped up. We got a little time lapse thing pre-prepared for us here as we talk through the uh, map okay. creation That's mode. Why. But yeah, it looked a bit like too fast overview. in the car. Right? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, like, what's your what was your team's goal when like putting these creative tools in the hands of players? Oh, this is uh, cool. So we always want uh, the, the tools to be easy to, to handle. The and, tools uh, to be easy. <laughs> Why did they do that? This is Italian. Trackmania is free. Oh, that's nice. Huh? Yeah, the yeah Miguel says this. And so we had to organize all the tools huh. and to organize the new features. Wow. And he's doing a great job right now because he, he knows what he's doing. But when you start making the first map, you really don't know what where you're going to. It's really hard to get to. And, yeah, uh, nice. When you say it's block, really easy. Sorry to interrupt, but when you say yeah, blocks, you, you just mean all these little pieces that we're seeing of track, yeah. planted this way, that way, this terrain, that terrain. Yeah, that's how it works. Uh, if we, if we, um, every piece of the map is uh, what we call a block, so it's it's uh, some a size. Hmm. And you go, like, that seems cool. Canal, you you have uh, roads, you have um, decoration, you have checkpoint, start, finish. You have boosters, By the way, guys, don't uh, don't forget so to hit so the like button. Yeah, yeah. So they moved the. Uh, uh, Coat. Now it. <laughs> no, it's son of a bitch. <laughs> and there's also trees, as God I know from personal it. experience. Sorry, guys. Yeah, them, uh, Is it readable? Yeah. Well, they put their own so tag in front of it as well, here, so. Uh, so it's but it should be readable. Not just sort of the map, anyway, guys, what I was trying to say, um, 
adding a little bit. Don't forget to uh, hit that like button. Is kind of like and um, feedback they are doing the giveaways. I am doing a giveaway as today as well at the end of the stream. Yeah, you're always up. Um, and if we have uh, if four more right, members, right, we will do another uh, uh, big old giveaway of a AAA game. So, if you want to, how do you say that? Have a chance to win that. Tap the join button. And, um, yeah. You know, to try to reproduce or to do better than him. So you, you can try yeah, uh, yeah, every yeah, part yeah. of the game and get really good in, in every part of the game. For the players. Uh -huh. oui. Interesting. Okay, <laughs> oui, so oui, when, you're, when you're starting out, oh, nice. You, know, you can go through terrain. Mm, that's cool. Skills. Uh, but when players are starting out, uh, you know, is, are there some, some tools to help them out? Are there, is it pretty, you know, are you, what do you recommend? Some people do, like, Tim. Okay, when you're starting Duck out, you. just try to make like. <laughs> Uh, a, a simple shape I like how you can test it also in real time, you know, without good. loading screens. Yeah, so exactly. That's pretty cool. In the version of Trackmania, there is a, what we call a simple editor. So there is a simple editor and advanced editor. What hmm. we're seeing now is the advanced editor. So with all the tools, all the blocks. And the simple editor is, editor is like a best of, uh, of blocks. So the blocks you need to do like a, a, a simple track, but a good one. You can at least make a good one. And ah, okay. I recommend to start with this. And then after you can get to the, to the advanced editor and make a crazy stuff like, like he's doing Whoa. right now. <laughs> That's very loud. Now, is yeah. the advanced editor That's pretty that. akin to what the Trackmania team uses oh. to create the actual. Sorry, guys, this train game. just went through our yeah, living room. Exactly <laughs> Sorry, we are using uh, every day to make the track. Uh, we every tool we put in the game, we give give it to the player as well, uh, so they can make the same track as us. Nice. So you can challenge people to beat you at your own game a little bit. I just yeah, like how Tim better. says. Uh, no one cares about your scam uh, lasers, I mean, and he just put this in uh, discord i'm gonna copy and paste it in chat it so just put this in discord for somebody who made a um, yeah, yeah, a game mod yeah, which is well, also well, honest work the just like streaming right and playing games to be a player, get wrecked <laughs> and and yeah <laughs> That's very cool. So hypocrite uh, much, Tim? Huh? Hypocrite much? Then you know there are people out there going to be creating these tracks. If they they're creating the tracks, they want people. Oh, the to division two now. How are they gonna, hmm? how do they oh, get cool! Folks I just played it today. You know, oh, nice! To, to race on their track. Yeah, we need to play that again. It's been a while. Yeah, I'm already be level uh, uh, twenty-two. So Nerd! It's so fun. Track, wow! Crazy! Uh, it's installed again. there on what we call a server review, a map review server. They and, expanded uh, so much. They added New York uh, they also. Can, like, oh yeah, I've heard that. Long, That's uh, cool. Wall Street tracks, part, you know, a whole tracks, part of the map. Oh waiting, nice! Not the same part from the first game, just a new. Oh, that's better. Towards. That's good. Uh, Smart. Track is yeah. good for the players Great. and we decide it's good we're going to add it at what we call track of the day which is like the front page of the game and everyone is going to play it for sure uh, every for day sure. there is a new track made by the players <laughs> nice and so there's also but there is also that like server where and can any player just kind of go in and be like let me see what new creations people have today and then rate them so if that's your if that's your thing if you're looking like for inspiration arcade. or just looking to yeah, try some that's nice. tracks that's a spot yeah, people exactly. can go that, that's why i do i always go to this server like every day and track new maps even if nobody's like pushing a map right now there's always uh, maps pushed uh, earlier in the uh, earlier in the day so you can there's always tracks to test and new tracks to test it's really great nice, nice. so Look at you this, you can just make you all these... track in there, you get enough, oh. uh, get enough stars, get considered all by the and you select them as a track of the day. Oh, I like <laughs> that. Uh, so no smooth. It. And there's some incentives for people to get on that track as I well, I like the right? product placement. Yeah, every day that we be... I mean, if you can. But that means you can, you can upload your own pictures. Oh. And, um, Imagine the things the, people upload. This competition <laughs> mm, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> trophies, uh, gives you, uh, I think they'll have like some kind of filter system. In it. I hope so. Yeah. Every day you have to come, I think. Uh, if you want to to come to compete on this track, and then you you earn trophies and you get better in the game, and you can rank up in the global ranking of the game. Ah, nice. And speaking of competition, we are going to be seeing some of the top community racers take on this very track here in just a few moments, folks, uh, in our next segment. Uh, right now, we're talking with Augustin about uh, creation in Trackmania. And so far, we've focused on 
the the map editor, yes, the booster. track creator Probably. that we're seeing in kind of a <laughs> yeah, <time> booster. Last, <laughs> uh, here. But there's also other creative outlets. I mean, you can yeah, booster. I am saying example, that the, I'm a good product on your car. Yeah, you. No, well, I'm saying my services are a good yeah. product. Um, <laughs> so you can create any skin you want uh, with what we call a skin painter and you can share it really oh, easily uh, with the world wow. within clubs um, oh that's in nice just one click you can find oh. your, your skins that you like and you can uh, awesome. you can apply them or add them to your fabric there goes so your it's, gpu it's really changing, <laughs> uh, a changing game for, for truck right in, in the, it's never been it's so easy uh, yeah imagine if they don't have a filter all the hentai what's and everything your, dude what's your approach, Do you like Pick then again, you, like you know, maybe that makes the game like more popular, you know, if you don't day, have to film. Yeah. <laughs> Just have a report <laughs> button, you know, and... Uh... I just yeah. go to the list and see, oh, this one is nice, so let's apply oh, wow. it. And then I have my yeah. skin in the game, so <laughs> every day I change skin. Excellent. Yeah, it's so fun to see the what people come up with. And I imagine this is also something for you. You know, these are the creation tools you use, your team is <laughs> used to create the tracks, the skins, etc. But, uh, you know, to a certain extent, you give the tools to the players, they're going to come back and surprise you. Yeah, they're, they're always like surprising us with a really great uh, new uh, new invention. I mean, uh, they can create mods as well, game mods. So they're going to we stayed up like every day and yeah, every true. day a.m. yesterday. <laughs> give, today, give me a and, break. Uh, one what of the what time did you wake I up? I really enjoyed, you know, even when not playing Trackmania, seeing some of the like, highlight reels people wow, put together because hardcore, bro. maybe I'll see a little bit later on. And as you've heard, then I stayed in bed for like two hours. Well. Ah, okay, cool. Trackmania tracks can get pretty wild, and the the kind of precision, the the the, the, the like, just like excellent oh, slick what? Like, drift precision hmm? that people can display oh, looks really vegetation. cool. And you have some in-game tools to help people showcase that stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. I like how they use blinds for the road, so you can't place that the trees automatically get filtered off the road. So yeah, this tool is and it places tool. randomly. It's, tool that we it's better than placing trailers. individually. It's and, yeah. Uh, at the same time, players can make the the trailers. They can add up, I don't know, a thousand cars on the same track to do like a wave. Ew, they use spaces. Project. They are not good it's developers. Really good to see what they can do with that because they can change the light, they can change the skins, they can change the color, they can display. Uh, Text, uh, they make a the huge install. game. Oh, they're really not good uh, developers. Oh. Well, there we have our tracks. <laughs> and it's free. It's free. Your tracks yeah. when you're it looks like it just works. We'll mm -hmm. <laughs> There's an autosave. Excellent. Yeah. Augustine, you put oh, a lot great. of people's hearts uh, to, uh, at ease just then. Uh, we'll be taking a look at that track in action in just a few moments here. But Augustine, before I let you go, uh, we I wanted to touch base on just kind of uh, again, that community aspect of, you know, how do people find these creations? What's a great way? Kind of like, makes me feel yeah, like the club these games where you build like model train tracks and everything. Of yeah. Friends, or maybe this club focuses Tempest on certain race types track. of races, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Just give us an idea. But because there is like wood walls, you see that it's like a set. People's creation. Yeah, like I saw a game like, yeah. once where you made like tracks and everything with wooden uh, trains, so it was like miniature train thingy, toys. But it was kind of cute. Just a streaming community within a club. And within those, those clubs, you can share screens. You can yeah, it share is, right, maps, Booster? You can create what we call a campaign, which is the same tool we're using to create our own campaigns with 25 maps. And you can create also events so people can gather around and uh, use the same skin, for example, uh, have a club tag and compete uh, within each other on leaderboards and uh, share everything they can. Wouldn't it be interesting if those videos. serial codes it's they're really not great. like single use, but they're like well, maybe use like of like maybe 10 people can use it? I don't think special so. Special codes, you know? I don't think so. New stuff in they change to every so many times. Yeah, like every tires off of each other. 20 yeah. seconds or something, something like that. Excellent. Augustan, thank you so much for Maybe joining 10? us. I mean, that would be actually fun. Mania. Otherwise, it's just every 20 seconds, just one good person now. gets it. Download and play That's and probably how it is. And hey, sis. Yes. Here, now it changed again. Thank you for joining us and congrats. I feel like yeah, sometimes people just give up, you know, after like, uh, I right, know we're going to get it. So yeah, maybe they, you know, need to be like a hardcore first, type or like, <laughs> yeah, of <laughs> the order of so, well, I'm today. thinking because my Our theory is maybe this code works like for 11, 10 times or five Pacific times, time. you know, to give it a bit more, you know, a limit to it. New content for the crew too. I'm curious what they will bring in that. I haven't played it in a while, but it's nice. New track for fans who like long rides and a bunch more. Then at Booster says I tried five codes, no luck. Event. Oh, that sucks, Ubisoft dude. Oh. You do need to put him into Uplay, Uplay. you know that, right? Not Steam. And more from Ubisoft's upcoming lineup of games. Stick around immediately for uh, Miguel too. Yeah, I figured. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. 
and for make now, sure you guys are uh, logged Joining into Uplay account Omar if you want Benadala, to get Watch Dogs 2 for free, guys. Nadeo, yeah. Talk about all the ways that Apparently, you just need to be logged in, and you don't need to do anything Omar, at all. Going, just uh, leave it Pretty on, you. and you should have it uh, somewhere from uh, now uh, and uh, I mean, the end of the main show. Yeah. Not that we had no skills. Yes, yes. For today, we are. For today, we are. Yeah, what we did basically is invite the six or seven, I think, uh, best players of the closed alpha we organized. Yeah, we are a reaction channel. Yeah. <laughs> they're racing uh, in rounds mode, so they all start at the same time, and the fastest guy win. All right, who's your money on here at the uh, at the outset? Uh, I'll just take the easy pick and go with Shorty since he won that round. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. He's right at the top of the top. Gameplay of the trailer. Yeah. And uh, have we seen that? Viewers will know Thank this is the track we just saw being created uh and actually the fifth place player i think Probably being overloaded, overloaded. Yeah. Just go to your <laughs> so, games Tona, yeah you can step it up oh right? they have to live stream here as well oh, okay. that's cool probably can win at least one round i believe it i believe it uh so as we watch them compete i wanted to talk to you a little bit oh more what about, have you done Tersen. Uh, hey Tersen. You know, Tersen. You did something kind of oh like take it's... on new competitive challenges in track mania because you know, right from the get-go, you, oh, you know you have two at the same time. Oh, oh yeah, I get it. So break the other one. Get a better medal, yeah. a faster time. So that's there what yeah. opens the web page. Okay. Against your friends. Uh, but what are some of the other ways people can kind of get into that broader competitive scene? You'll Basically, what we try to do is to design uh, features that will be um, good for any kind of level. Maybe it's you are, free you games. Are on track mania, whether you're a professional player or just track mania is already in here. Game and get <laughs> better uh, each day. Um, so you'll have a lot of new ways to train and, and get better at the game. Nope, the other uh, one isn't. Gaining more medals, uh, yeah, maybe probably takes some time. medals on all the maps uh, of the official campaign, which is a great achievement already. Uh, you'll be able to play against VIPs, Ooh. ghosts, uh, which means that you'll be able to compete. Well, guys, uh, I claim Trek Mania. Uh, your favorite streamer against your friends. That's cool. Um, Big game. So yeah, quite yeah. a lot of possibility to, to get better at Trek Mania. Nice. So I, I like the streamer touch because then you know, they you're, end you're watching with them in the, the chat, say, free like, goats for trials rising. What what they've laid down the time and then go take yeah. yourself to the track and see how yeah. you stack up. That, that's uh, good. Like that's a feature we, we love at the studio because uh, you can compare yourself against someone you, you would love to play against and and maybe beat him and and. Uh, Seventy percent off of all the games. Uh, shout mm -hmm. out to Tona who did Seventy percent off of all the games. The Ooh yeah, and, that's good. Uh, of his own creation, nicely done. Uh, so we're on to a new track here and. Oh, see, that's the kind of move that yeah. when oh, I'm flying really out to over the uh, over. A <laughs> yeah, we were like driving on the wall. Oh, like <laughs> the, the speed is at the bottom of the car, at the back of the car. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty yeah, cool. cool. Yeah, and so these folks have been have played a nice. little bit already, but in terms of that's better, you know. So you don't have to look at the bottom right of the screen, you know. Yeah, just you can focus on the. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Whoa! Oh, cheats! Cheats! That's scary. I missed. It's okay. It's only the one. I mean, it's only it's the cool. one. Yeah. No wonder they're sending it. No wonder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, in terms of like, uh, okay, so. so yeah. So guys, Ubisoft like, on UPlay now have you wanna, like, all their games are seventy percent off. Details, so if you are still looking for a game you want, you, like, make sure you check it out right now. Well, what we have currently on the game will be daily. I think everyone is checking it out right now. Yeah, I'm uh, never this slow. Just click world. it away. I'm sure yeah. now I need. Uh, at least I know that I'm uh, logged in. Time, and you saw that? Well, that car like drove up a 90 degree slope. Yeah, I know. Sick. World, That's good track. It had like a boost um, down there. I think. Ah. The I hope they have different cars. Look at this. It was so fast. Uh, and then he missed it again. Wreck nerd of the professional players Yuck. because you'll play, be playing on the same maps and the same format as the Grand League. So you'll be basically leaving the, the experience yeah, of I a think professional the, player by yeah, the I think they're. Maybe, uh, I think they're play, overloaded. Yeah. At some point you'll, you'll be joining the Grand League and, and play against the 16 best players in the world. Oh my goodness! Well, we see if you're locked in, just keep it track here, uh, on and just don't touch. Just don't touch you play. Okay, just don't touch it. If you locked in. It is basically what we have on, on, on the ground league is uh, the 16 best players in the world. We cannot have oh. anyone better than them. And and we just put them on a special format that we design where everything is possible uh, until the end and the last second of the last track. Uh, so it's really great to see and, and we are excited for, for the next season which will start on, on September. Nice. So in September, more Grand League action coming your way. Uh, but 
you know, there's a lot of sp competitive space in between the tippy tip top uh, for you to get involved. And is that something that, you know, in terms of like, I just booted up Trackmania, I've raced a little bit. Is mm -hmm. that going to be easy for players to find? What's the way to get into that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, Exxon yeah, is we'll having do, some good uh, uh, events. And yeah. Yeah. good dinner. Holy jeebus. Yep. Events you'll have Lucky Ducker. And uh, I'm hungry. And yep. Good job, Axel. Uh, yeah. So and Kelson. And Kelson. She. She. Uh, well, you'll basically <laughs> be able to create an event in less than two minutes and, and decide which map you want to have, which kind of format. Uh, so we made everything easier for uh, everyone on Trackmania. Nice. So that could I mean, even be just you creating the events to just play with your friends or yeah, your also, yeah. classmates or whatever else. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Classmates. Uh, and They're supposed so to do school so stuff clubs, in, in class. Kind of way, like, clubs are also a way that people can get into, you know, finding people who... I like how... But like you can't hit the other cars. Or, That's you know, too bad. I think it's possible. I think it's just in uh, this mode you can't. You know? Oh, yeah, that like, could be possible. Uh, GTA has the same thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Pass it. Uh, completely pass private and where you, you play only with I mean, I'm assuming that. Yeah. Mates, classmates. Or you can just have a public... Club, which uh, is available and joinable by everyone, mm, nice. and, and just have fun with uh, a lot of people uh, doing What's well, with these events. firing? Look at the wheels. They're yeah. in hoover mode now. You oh, see? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. They're going glide. What? Jumps, oh. like What's this? We yeah. <laughs> like we see, yeah. O only jumps maps. And I think they went to the finish. Yeah. The, 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 yeah that, that oh yeah. I see this more like as like you know toy fun, cars, so. you know. This and is a pretty close. Match. Yeah, like hot rods. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, hot wheels. Hot wheels. Yeah, that's uh, what it's called. Yeah, hot, yeah. Like hot yeah. rods. These folks into, hot rods are uh, here to, to give us a look yeah, at some, some very high powered real muscle cars. Real tight ah. turns. Yeah, you can okay. see how good they are by by their drifts and and how well they know the maps, obviously, since they've. Yeah, I think so too, Miguel. I think a bit more than two two or three months now. So don't forget to smack the like button, guys. Yeah, please. Really good. It will help out a lot. I wish I had watched Kirk. them play before our session earlier, but <laughs> yeah. that's all right. For the future, um, it'll. Uh, you it'll, can play against. Like the, the Why is there even a road yeah, down there? Way. That's true. Although if you, you miss know, the jump, can you really learn you know, from a ghost if you mess up, yeah. screams out it's ahead there. of you so fast. Yeah. You see <laughs> just right to follow it. Yeah, work my way up. Uh, yeah. So the, these community events, this kind of. Uh, this this stuff that is organized through clubs as like so it's organized through clubs which is kind of organic and players all around the world can make that happen but you at nadeo are also sort of curating don't stuff get those and experiences ads. and events just for don't get, to get those into. they're so weird it's yeah. money um, i know but they're what so we're weird trying to do is to have a mix of community event well basically we have players organizing event uh that's something that is there for more than 14 years now on trackmania so so we love <laughs> to see that uh we love to see community creating content on our game, uh, we also organize ourselves our events through the Grand League, the Daily Cups, uh, the Nations League, yeah. and things like that. Um, so it's kind of a mix of, of trying to get uh, uh, content for every kind of players and also how did he get to, ahead of everybody? Um, be able to create no, uh, content and events, whether you're um, a great player or just want to have fun with your friends. Nice. Wow. The, the time separating the top yeah, finishes. Yeah, that's really here. great and that's really <laughs> fast. <laughs> is very very tight here as we move on to i believe our fourth and final map of this competitive yeah. section and it's still really close all right folks it's down to the wire omar still believing in in your racer shorty out there yeah. i think he's <laughs> first so i mean yeah he came in first that race yeah and that's a great map want to put some money on it so <laughs> might be someone to over to or taking shorty do you like like that kind of map where i mean it's exciting, right? Because like dramatic, yeah, it. dramatic yeah. stuff can happen, but also it's a little scary. Like you can just fly off the track and like, oh, well, I guess, everything. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, it's all gone. <laughs> you, you can go from first to last basically by, by doing one mistake and one short mistake. So um, that's pretty exciting for the spectators. It's it's not that fun for the players, obviously, because you don't <laughs> want to lose everything on one turn. But yeah, that's how you handle pressure on track mania. Yeah, you know, at some point, like fun becomes like. Oh, it's the thrill. Oh, obstacles. Know, you're That's a lot cool. More for the bigger payoff, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, what do you call this kind of road surface here? That's that's like a hill in the middle. I was trying to figure this out earlier. Actually, we do, we, we do have a name, uh, but I don't like to use it. I just let people call it as they want. Uh, I'm calling it a different way in French, obviously. Oh, um, sure, sure, of course, yeah. Basically, everyone can can 
name the 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 the, the, the world as they want. Uh, and and there's many ways to 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 say to, like select the, the the road we are seeing right now. The language of racing. Uh, yeah. It, it takes many forms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're watching the competition play out here. Uh, once people, you know, Trek Mania is out now, free to download and play, uh, what would you recommend in terms of like, okay, I just want to get into the into the competition against other folks. I want to challenge myself right out of the gate. What's the best way to get that started? To be quite honest, the best thing will be to play the Daily Cup because we'll be facing uh, players from all around the world on, on a track that is known all around the, the world uh, each day. So <laughs> the track of the day uh, map. Um, so you'll be able to see how good you are against other people and, and you can do that every day so you can maybe see your progression on the whole week and maybe at the end of the week you'll, you'll be able to be you didn't even you came in even to you ab about it wasn't on, even on in the, the top the five? Of the oh, week. there is his second hmm. oh, I, I like that, I like that, the, that yeah. kind of like because so, you know a lot about kind of uh, competition is that progression and you know the sense of moving up in the rankings but also of oh like this person is always the one who I see a few places ahead of me. Like you're chasing them, yeah. you want to you want to track them down. Uh, now this is our last this is our last race. Is that right? Yeah, last round and shorty second. So Ooh. I have quite some pressure. To be quite honest, the pressure is on. They're coming around <laughs> these these like the like, heat is like, on. Well, but he's in there. Oh, yeah. Under pressure. Yep, coming up around this big it's like S turn. He's still first. I believe in him. <laughs> he can feel he can feel the the positive vibes coming from you. you, you just can, this so what game are you yeah. looking forward to, uh, to watch, Well, I'm really game game. curious there about uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I, got it. I really <laughs> like uh, Viking Omar setting they went for, the right racer, and of course uh, Far Cry 6. Far Cry series Omar, have been so uh, my favorite games uh, for years now. So I'm really looking forward to what they're gonna bring with that. Well, obviously, thank you for having me, and thanks to the players for playing. This competition thanks to all the close up players we had uh, because they had right. truly to make this game better and, and but yeah also watch dogs legions right now, so i'm yeah, really curious when Trek it will be released because we've and, seen and a lot of it I'm sure you'll have before yeah that's it a bit here and there right, yeah Omar, sure. yeah and i liked so i liked the setting and everything out now on epic games and, and you play it should go be from what i've understood and get play the whole campaign and go up oh yeah cool i've seen and it's on not sure how many players show Ubisoft Maybe forward pre show 12 starting million. Early. We're gonna take well, a all the NPCs can be. No, just kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> it's would like be insane. a. It, it's <laughs> just the surprise of the of the of today, you know? It's a massive MMORPG. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> all oh, of god. London, every person you see, that's a player. <laughs> oh, no. You see that guy up there? That's a player. That guy up there? Player. That guy? That's an NPC. <laughs> oh, here we go, guys. Thank you, Chris, and hello, everyone, and welcome to the Ubisoft Forward pre-show. The main event will be starting in just 30 minutes and will feature news from our unreleased games, including Watch Dogs Legion, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Hyperscape, and more. Now to warm up, we have 30 minutes of this from the games you're already playing, like Ghost Recon Breakpoint, Trials Rising, and The Crew 2, as well as some exclusive I think I'm gonna... games so you can get to know us a little better. No, so I let's kickstart this pre-show with an update from Just Dance 2020. By the way, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is going to be played by the Couch Potatoes ASAP, right? <coughs> yes. I like this uh, setting, I just can't dance, so... Of course you can dance. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> nice. Cool. Oh, that's soon. That's like over a week and a half. Nice. Hi. If you're a Just Dance fan and want to win some cool swag, head over to the Just Dance website for all the details. For our next segment, we have something a little different than what we usually do. A few years ago, Ubisoft created the Ubisoft Entrepreneurs Lab and the Open Innovation Accelerator. 
This allowed us to yes. create partnerships and synergies with indie studios from across the industry. And since so many industry events were canceled this year, uh, we wanted to showcase several indie projects and teams that Ubisoft has been collaborating with over the past few years. Our first indie showcase is developer Machine and Mensch, who is working on the Curious Expedition 2. Let's hear more from the team behind the game. Hi, my name is Masha and I'm a game designer at Machine Mensch. Machine Mensch is a small and diverse indie game studio with eight wonderful employees based here in Berlin. Our connection with Ubisoft came through a program dedicated to create ever-growing relationships with independent developers, to talk about and share expertise Mute. and knowledge. We work together in mutual respect, which we much appreciated. We're working on the Cures Expedition 2, which is the sequel to our Expedition Simulation game. This time, the game is set in Paris in 1899, during the World Expo when the Eiffel Tower was built. But more importantly, you will be traveling to these mysterious islands, you will be interacting with unknown tribes, fight dangerous beasts, find many secrets. Thanks to our procedure technology, every time you play, it's a new world, new characters, and a new storyline that you shape with each of your interactions until oh, that's it becomes cool. your own unique adventure. Yeah, look, it's Raptor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. And we will have more indie guests coming up later in the pre-show, so stick around. Now, a while ago, Ubisoft released its very first live-action TV show on Apple TV+. And it's a comedy <laughs> about making video games called Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet. And to keep the show authentic, Ubisoft's Red Storm Studio went above and beyond by creating a playable sandbox for the game that is actually featured in the show. So now let's head behind the scenes for an exclusive look. I think I heard about this. This is the home of Clancy. Okay. It's very Clancy-esque. Yes. <laughs> I get it. All right. Now I'm starting to understand. Right. I, too, keep all my awards at the front of my office. It's entirely empty. <laughs> This was the show so they wanted to make, right? Is uh, Ubisoft's first live-action comedy. The whole show is about a team that is developing a super successful MMO RPG, and it's about you know all the all the people within the game development team and their relationships and what they go through in creating one of the world's most successful. <laughs> yeah, games. I saw it. <laughs> They're all Thank actors. You. Thank you. But are we sure? That we're Him finished. too. When we in heard about what was going on, we weren't really sure if we were a great fit because we always made shooters realistic. And we listened to the pitch and we were super excited about the they're idea. They're all actors. So <laughs> we know. thought, all right, like what's, what That's does Ubisoft fun. have that we could channel to fit this? You're, you're fucking me. Yes. You're fucking me. But I'm not enjoying it. it. It's I for the game. When we started on the project. I think we imagined <laughs> that we just I, I, can just, I can't tell if it's real or not now. I just <laughs> been confused a bit. Yeah. So once we saw the script, once we started collaborating with the team, we realized... For all, <laughs> yeah, <we> booster. Game, <laughs> game. For all I know, these course, people are not actors. They're all just CGI, years, you know? So <laughs> this is deep fakes. Yeah, deep fakes. <laughs> and from there, it was not long before we said, you know, what oh, if we wow. make this actually playable? What if we make it so you can connect a controller and control the characters? And so that's what we ended up doing. The thing that I love most is the shuffle. Exploding people's heads with this thing is... <laughs> yes, the shuffle. Yes. Crunch, man. Oh. We had requests to do things like make a contagious viral <laughs> disease in which people bleed out of their eyeballs first. Uh, then they bleed out of their anus. Then they vomit and bleed out of their anus at the same time. <laughs> we set it up in such a way that what the fuck is this? I like this. Stages. I want to watch oh, this. Jeremy, so thanks for subscribing and welcome. The idea here is we can hit it and uh, con control the timing of, of when things are happening. So <laughs> next time you hit it, he starts puking out blood. And at this point, we would probably have the camera start panning back like this, and then you can hit the button again. And you see the blood ocean itself is starting to <laughs> so oh, That's ridiculous. I like it. And then the also the anus is just <laughs> kind of exploding. I know, I see. Bloody gore. And then this was Keith's idea. <laughs> he wanted the skulls coming up and bobbing up and down in the water. So. Uh -huh. David, can we actually make this quick? I've got a lot of work to do stripping blood ocean out of everything. Yeah, yeah. Releasing a disease into the game right before a global pandemic was not a great look. Today was the first time we showed Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet to audience. <laughs> I've never seen it with more than six or seven people in a room. And so I wanted to make sure that we gave them an opportunity to Blood hopefully Lake, recognize yeah. that this is a giant love letter to them, to the industry itself. I was a little nervous, I gotta be honest. I thought it was gonna be a little cringy, but it was fantastic. I thought there was a lot of 
truth and in the humor. It's about time that we had a show about our industry. You could tell when the audience was laughing, when they really hit something that, that felt like the game industry. I think it's brilliant. No, oh, I so have to watch this. Oh, Apple TV? Oh. Dude, I can get it. <laughs> All right, so if you have not yet seen it, uh, the first season of Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet is available right now on Apple TV+, and a full version of this making of will be coming out over the next few days. All right, now it is time to fasten your seatbelts and start your engines. <laughs> Hacking it. As we to Lyon, France, to visit our team <laughs> at Ubisoft Ivory Tower to get an update on the crew, too. I'm so happy that they didn't use this, that blue background as a blue screen to because then their whole clothes would be gone and they were like floating heads <laughs> i'm a community developer here at ivory tower and nice i'll be your host for this quick glimpse into all the exciting things we have going on over the next few weeks it's been two years already since launch, yeah <laughs> with six major updates and hundreds of vehicles under our belt and our latest update summer in hollywood only oh. went live a few days ago let's have a look yeah let's do Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. oh yes, <laughs> beautiful. Oh my god. Oh Tron. A little weird, but okay. I like it. Super the seventies. Oh yes. Oh sick. Yes, we gotta play this again sometime. On what's coming. There have been a few speed bumps along the way, but over the past two years, Ooh. you, the community, have made the crew two a motorsports playground where all players what? are welcome. What's and this? Where anything is possible. What? That's so a car. Thank you to the crew. The car? Yeah, the weird Discord car. It looked insane. Yeah. And all of our players. I was looking We've at the lights, not the car, if I'm honest. To show our appreciation is the 67 Volkswagen Beetle. Mm. So let's see what kind of Hollywood twist Classic. you can put on it. That's it from me. There'll be more news dropping over summer, so keep your eyes peeled. Starting with this. Wow. That's cool. I like it. Oh yes! Yes, the flashy eighties. Yes. What? Oh. Oh fuck yeah. The music. The the Night Rider. Yeah, I know. The. Um. I don't know what the reference for that one is. Ferrar. Maybe James Bond. You know. Yeah, maybe. That's a lot of content. Nice. Nice. Year three. This yeah. is what I like about Ubisoft. That's uh, true. Booster says I like the wordplay. We hit a few speed bumps. In case you bumps. missed it, make sure to win <laughs> up the game right now to unlock the amazing 69 Volkswagen Beetle that was just shown in the video. And stay tuned in the near future for more info about year 3 of The Crew 2. Our next video is from our second indie guest, Bossa Studios, who will be injecting a delirious dose of fun with Surgeon Simulator 2. Enjoy. Surgeon Simulator, oh yeah. Oh boy. Is this multiplayer? Hi, from Bossa Studios. I hope so. I'm a senior game designer on the upcoming Surgeon Simulator 2. So at Bossa, we're always keen to share game development knowledge, and Ubisoft has been a fantastic partner in this. They deliver lectures on procedural <laughs> content, <laughs> content <laughs> and player science. <laughs> and in turn, we share with them the ideation yes, it is. that we use to develop initial <laughs> ideas into living, breathing games. Which brings me on to Surgeon Simulator 2. We've really doubled down on the physics-based pandemonium that the is series it? is notorious for. And we oh, pretty it's much not a VR, every okay. Other no, of the game as I don't well. think so. So this time around, you're no longer just a floating... They are too uh, clumsy table. to be VR. You're actually a full first-person surgeon. With hey, George, what's up, dude? To explore. And in addition to the levels that you'll find in story mode, you'll now be able to create your own unique levels and experiences oh, using yes. the Labs creation mode. So it's a really easy to use, intuitive <laughs> set of tools that allows <laughs> players to create wow. either on their own, or in online multiplayer. Ubisoft, when, when are you going to make a Sims Everything game? Come on. Yeah, right. There's room for competition, <laughs> please. <laughs> you can do it. Look at this. Yeah, look what? at this. Gonna... During oh, yes. Alpha period, we've seen players create all sorts of amazing stuff. From bowling alleys to space stations, pirate ships to horror-themed escape rooms. 
and this is before the game is even released. So we absolutely cannot wait to see what plays <laughs> Oh shit, get out of here! <laughs> oh no, Bob, Bob is sick. Oh you no. Surgeon Simulator 2, you can receive exclusive closed beta access. But Ooh. since it is like in a collaboration with so Ubisoft, will it be in Ubi you Uplay Store as well? Probably. Ubisoft Forward will start once the countdown <coughs> on your screen reaches zero. And make sure you log into Uplay to unlock rewards as you watch the main event. But now, our next segment is about an Easter egg in The Division 2. So let's go behind the scenes with the devs from Ubisoft Massive Studio in Malmo, Sweden, to find out more. Running through collapsed buildings, climbing over fallen debris, and encountering makeshift living spaces is common for players of The Division 2. Within its post-pandemic environment, many players have spotted something a bit more unusual, which has left them asking, what's up with all of these rubber ducks? Ah, we did that at work so once. There's a, a thing in, in programming, especially, where you, you talk to a rubber yeah. duck. And exactly. it's a way to solve your problems. If you talk to a rubber duck and you just say things out loud, it helps. One of our artists decided to take this That's to true. another level, and he used the rubber duck scaled up to like a ginormous scale and put it in the level just to remind him to do something. And it sat there for a while. And the rest of us kind of really loved this giant rubber duck sitting there for so long. We decided to put a little memorial to it across the world. Oh. We actually we did that at work. We hit like 100 rubber duckies all over the office space. Where these two ducks yeah. are sitting wow. on a bench having fun. a date together. <laughs> and there's another one somewhere where he's sitting with an umbrella hiding from the rain. The idea of the ducks is similar to the rest of our storytelling, where we're trying to add some hope into the world. Because you're coming in as a division agent this game. to try and save yeah. what you can and rebuild. But you need to know there's something there to save. So having bits of happiness lets you know like it's still worth saving for these little happy moments. <laughs> One shrine in particular became a beloved fan favorite, showing up multiple times across YouTube and Reddit. So, uh, Karen, how was your day? Well, Luke, it's been productive. <laughs> So the origin story oh of Productive, <laughs> one of our level designers made an amazing pun one day and we decided to make a graffiti out of it and put it in the game and it became like a duck shrine and, and players started finding it and wondering where it came from. We've been finding these rubber duckies all over the map. It says here on the wall in graffiti, Productive, and there's a large rubber ducky, bigger than all the other ones we've found, and he's, uh, he's, he's got bottles of booze <laughs> all around him. Not only that, but he has a couple of soldier duckies guarding a parrot in a cage but there's, <laughs> there's more just like this in the division too uh, what's really great good. about our community is they come together they find a common thing that they want to develop or find or get unlocked and they just put time and effort into it <laughs> we don't put them in easy to find places so that means players are genuinely hopefully enjoying just exploring the environment and finding all these little easter eggs we've hidden around and also not the easter eggs just the main part of the game and all the storytelling we put into it I haven't found all of them I don't know exactly how many there are but they haven't found all of the ducks yet Encouraged by the community's response to the ducks developers recently hid another secret in the game and made it the focal point of an all new community challenge we actually put Tommy the Teddy Bear into the game. So Tommy the Teddy Bear is a trauma teddy mentioned in a lot of lore, but the bear itself actually was not in the game. With episode three, we put a bunch of them into the world, actually opened up an Easter egg hunt for him specifically. It's a nice little exciting moment when you kind of open Reddit and you see someone's found the thing that you kind of just snuck in under the radar and no one really knows about it and it some of the players are really clever. There's, there's some uh, hard Easter eggs that some of the level designers and gameplay designers right? have put mm -hmm. in. There must be a great people feeling, right? People managed to solve it with no help Still, whatsoever. There's a little thing in the game and yeah. somebody finds it. Gamers are smart. <laughs> So now you hear that, guys? Gamers are smart. Next time you boot up, yeah, you're smart. <laughs> we now have our final indie guest, Thunder Lotus Games, who were the 2017 winner of the indie series that took place in Montreal. So let's find out more about the beautiful coziness of Spirit Fair oh, in this God. next video. <laughs> That's disgusting. Hey, everybody. I'm Rodrigue Marketeer at Thunder Lotus. We're uh, an indie studio based out of Montreal, Canada, and makers of the games Jotun, Sundered, and our new game, Spiritfarer, which is due out later this year. Yeah, 
I've seen the trailer of this one. Tried to make uh, AAA quality games with a hand-drawn indie heart. Hitting a quality standard consistently in game dev is a huge challenge. There's so much trial and error on the path. And during the Sundered production, we were lucky enough to have the Ubisoft Entrepreneurs Program in our corner to help us reach our goals. As uh, co-winners of the Ubisoft Indie Series in 2017, we received now. not only generous funding but also uh, crucial mentorship and access to the Ubisoft testing facilities. Ooh. So we're grateful to Ubisoft for their support and helping us make what would become our biggest success to date. We've taken that experience with us onto what is our most ambitious production yet, and that's Spiritfarer, uh, which we're calling a cozy management game about dying. In Spiritfarer, you play Stella, <laughs> okay. the newly appointed fairy master to the deceased. And as Stella, you're going to build a boat, you're going to explore the world in search of spirit passengers uh, seeking passage to the afterlife. You're going to spend relaxing quality time with them. You're going to create lasting memories, but ultimately you're going to have to learn how to say goodbye to your cherished friends. It's a game that's near and dear to our hearts and, and something really special. We, we can't wait to share it with the world later this year. So look for it soon on uh, PC. On Xbox yeah, the game. smile of the turtle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good Xbox one. <laughs> Thanks a lot and cheers. Very pretty. 10 minutes guys it is time for an update on our favorite motorcycle platformer with the insanity pain and triumph we all know and we all love trials rising came out last year but i think the team from our red link studio in helsinki has a little surprise coming to the game for the fans of the franchise so let's take a look all right Hi, we're here today to introduce you to an exciting new endurance challenge coming to Trials Rising. But to make sure that we respect social distancing guidelines, Auntie and I decided Come on! to. Do I fire the goose now? What? Fire the goose? Fire the goose! <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Giga Track. So this game is six years old. If it's season six, oh, that I mean, works. The game works. The classic track from no, Trials Evolution. It works. This yeah. is an all-new journey across the world of Trials Rising, in by far the longest track that we've ever put in a trial. Come on! Did you tell him it's the longest track ever? Yeah, I'm telling him that. By far the longest track we've ever put in a Trials game. The Giga Track will take you across many different environments, from the iconic. Come on! Maybe you want to tell them. The Giga Track is like life. It starts and it ends and it's long. Love his Depends accents. how you enjoy it. And also yeah. one secret thing. Four is transfer to one. Prepare for the ultimate test of Trials Endurance. Giga Track releases this Thursday, July Darcy, it's about to start. This is just a pre-show. Yeah, this is the pre-show, sis. This is just the little things. The big yeah. thing is starting in 10 minutes. Eight. The, the best, what we're the waiting best for. thing, the best what we are actually thing. waiting for. No offense to this. This is great, you know? Of course. Yeah, of course. These are, you know... Oh, you games. heard that right, the Giga Track is coming to the game and it will be the longest, yes. most insane <laughs> track in Trials history. And it will be free for all Trials Rising Just players. hang in there a little bit more, sis. Come on, you can do it. Just a bit longer. Yeah, there's some amazing stuff coming up. Yeah, date. hopefully. AI teammates are coming to the game. Let's have a look at the trailer. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy, like that. <laughs> I'm happy to see her again, Jeremy, by the way. It's Time been a while. Stop. AI Finally, are back in Ghost they also updated the weapon uh, customization. A bit oh, more. and for all solo players, they're gonna be a game changer. Available at any point after you have reached Erewhon for the ah, first okay. time, Fury, Fix It, and Vasily can be activated or dismissed at will. And from the beginning, you will be able to fully customize them. This customization includes all of the physical attributes, as well as gear, equipment or even full costumes. Your teammates can be tweaked just as much as your main character. Oh, just like Nomad, that. your teammates will adapt and react to the world of Aroa and its environments, and they will always follow your own behavior. If you decide to go stealth, they will equip silencers and crouch, or go prone when possible. But if you decide to go loud and open fire, they will stick by your side. 
When deployed, uh, pra, pra. you can issue different orders to your teammates through the order wheel. I was about to there say. There are four yeah. different orders you That's can give to your teammates. You can tell them to regroup on your location, to hold their current position, to go to a specific location, and to open fire on nearby enemies. These orders well, I didn't can be know given this one. Anytime, open fire. Even through your binoculars and drone. Once they approach potential threats, the teammates will notify you and mark them automatically. Got a hostile. With a good look at your enemies, you will be able to set up a sync shot where each of your teammates picks a target. You can even link it to your three sync shot drones for a simultaneous seven target takedown. The teammates have weapons oh, that's equipped awesome. at all times, a versatile assault rifle to accommodate all situations, and a primary weapon that you will be able to fine tune. Indeed, apart from mark upgrades and passive bonuses, the full gunsmith is accessible to your teammates. And that's their cool. Choice nice. Will have a direct effect on the battleground. Depending on the type of weapon they have equipped, the teammates will adapt their engagement distance and rate of fire. I do like that. From close that's distance good. shotgun wielding all the way to long distance sniper shots. Wildlands didn't have this. Of course, no. If you get taken down, your teammates' priority will be to try and rescue you. To achieve that, they will first focus their fire on the surrounding enemies before getting Oh, that's to cool. The teamwork. They expect the same from you, especially as you will be able to carry them to safety. If the yeah, I would like some covering it. fire with that. Yes. And finally, the teammates <laughs> will also be your best allies in any vehicle, especially on the road and during high stake pursuits. The teammates will be available for all solo Ghost Recon Breakpoint players on July 15th. And we cannot wait to see your reactions. That's we'll see three you on days. The battlefield, ghosts. Three days. Ooh. Ooh. That's Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. nice. Hey, Ghost. Awesome. I'm Grace oh. from the Ghost Recon team. Oh, hi. As you've just seen, the AI teammates are finally landing in Ghost Recon Breakpoint with our next major update on July 15th. Alongside the AI teammates, this update comes with a ton of new content, including a gunsmith upgrade, new PvP content, quality of life updates, and more. You will be able to try it all during our next free weekend from July 16th to July 20th. But that's not all. We've got one Start last learning, to Start learning, sis. Enjoy, and we'll see you on Aroa, ghosts. To anyone listening, this is Haruhi Ito, speaking for the outcasts. This? I don't know. Update for uh, we Ghost stand Recon? against Sentinel's illegal occupation of Aroa. Yeah. We call on all of Aroa to join us. Yeah, Aroa. Separated, Sentinel wins. But united, we cannot be defeated. Look at that car. Yeah, it's a new car. Who are these guys? Bad guys. The rebels. Yeah, uh, we'll nice. Hi. Yeah, but if you ever want to join us, sis, you need to know a little bit more about games. Hey. Girl, don't and now our have very to. final video for this don't be a gatekeeper. Gatekeeper, wow moments compiling the craziest and coolest clips from you, our players. Oh. Three minutes, what? Oh, God, wow, oh, oh, this gonna hurt. Oh, that's me. No, no, it's, it's gonna not. hurt. Oh, wow. Anyone else want to try to do better than that? No, oh, okay. Nice. This is a fun game. It's like uh, Smash Brawl on the Nintendo. Oh, sick. Six seats. Oof. Got the awesome interrogate him. Oh. Oh, okay. Watch out for the window. Uh oh. <laughs> wow, sneaky breaky. Yeah, <laughs> That's so awesome. Playing dead. Yeah. 
Nice. I've done this myself. Oh, perfect. Nice parking job. Like a glove. <laughs> <laughs> oh, What's this? This is a for, oh, for honor. honor. Yeah. It looks like Siege. With the color scheme and everything. Oh, yeah. It used the same... Uh, yeah. System. Yeah, UI so and the same engine. Oh, yell, uh, this guy's funny. Voice actor, he's Australian. I usually do ah. it because I'll freak out my neighbors. But as you can see, I'm at the crash in Ocean Beach and there's no one too close, so. Reloading! Fuck, someone told me. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> <He's so funny. laughs> Oh, what? They oh. took out the Ezreal drone? Yeah, it's gonna fall on them, I think. Yeah, probably. Or on them. Oh, oh! Yeah, correct. Perfect. What? Are their feet? What? What? This bass guitar. Holy shit, that's insane. Wait, is she playing two at the same time? Yeah. Wow. That's insane. <laughs> what? If you also have amazing gameplay segments you captured from our games, spread the joy and submit them on the link displayed on your screen right now. All right, guys, it is time for us to wrap up this pre-show. Don't forget to stay tuned for our post-show featuring a deep dive into the world of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Thanks a lot for watching this pre-show and enjoy Ubisoft. What do you think they're going to show first? I don't know. What do you hope? It's going to be good. Nine seconds, eight. Come on, guys, here we go. I'm so excited. Woo! <laughs> Here we go, guys. This is Ubisoft. This is Ubisoft. This is Ubisoft. Meet the devs. See the games. Join us. All right, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Get some stroopwafels and soda cans in chat, guys. Come on. I'm Neelan Kumar, and I'm very excited to be co-hosting the first Ubisoft Forward with the talented Yusuf Magid. Oh. Today's show is all about getting up close and in-depth with all the exciting games we have in production here at Ubisoft. I'm Yusuf, but there's no time to waste. So let's head straight for the streets of futuristic London. Ooh, and see what the of dead Yeah, games. bro. Here we go. I wonder if it's a trailer of gameplay. Subversive and hostile messaging over the not actual gameplay. <laughs> it's okay. The work of several people, as was originally believed, but the work of an individual. The criminal suspected to have links with the terrorist group. I like that trailer. Yeah. Me too. TGI came so far. Oh, what the f He's gonna get wrecked. Authorities recommend not to approach the individual. First, they came for the foreigners, and I did not speak out because I was not a foreigner. Is it real here and there, or I don't know? It, it, it seems so. so good, yeah. You know? They came for the protesters. Probably CGI. And I did not speak out because I was not a protester. But this looks so real. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> yeah, of course not real, but then they came for the looks journalists. cool. Been honest. I did not speak out because I was not a journalist. <gasps> I like it. You know, it's so dystopian. Yeah. We're getting there too. Uh oh. And then they came for street artists. But I did not speak oh. out because I am not a street artist. It feels like... Wow. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. This is so... This is a cool trailer. It looks very cool. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wow. Parkour. Yes. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder if that happens in the game. Oh, you boy. Lucky. And I realized that eventually they'd come for me. 
and there would be no one left to speak for me. What? Yeah, there's oppression, eh? Yeah, so uh, people need to work together. Enhance. It's Hank. It's Davis. David? David Ford. That's a girl? Yeah, mate. Yeah, she's cool, Joe. <laughs> After a long night, London is in chaos. The main arteries of the city are blocked. Hundreds of heavily armed Albi. Well, well, well. Welcome to the resistance. There's a welcome gift for our new members. But the disappearance of the criminal. You could have told me it was a bloody. Costume party. Try it on. The new key suspect has been identified as David Ford, <laughs> a 43-year-old London taxi driver. Uh -oh. He has no criminal record, but is currently believed to be a terrorist. People have been asked terrorist. not to approach him. The authorities advise all residents. Where's Jack Bauer when you need him? Yeah, slander, <laughs> slander. I tell, I'll tell you. I'm Clint Hawking. Clint has been a longtime creative force here at Ubisoft, and now he's bringing this vision to Watch Dogs Legion. Um, so yeah, what we just saw was an amazing short film by the director Alberto Mielgo that uh, was inspired by Watch Dogs Legion and looks at, at the game and the universe and the characters through his incredible uh, artistic vision and visual style. The city needs a resistance. Like the film, Watch Dogs Legion tells the story of ordinary heroes setting aside their differences in order to come together as a collective and to fight for a positive change. You can literally recruit oh. and play anyone <laughs> who you see in the open world. You profile people that Those are interesting skills. to you. You help yeah. them with their problem. You play their origin mission. Just help me get some closure and I'll do whatever you want. Sounds like a dead sec problem. Leave it to us. And that's how you recruit them into your team. And then they become the heroes of the game and, and the stars of your story. And what are you oh, doing that's so flat? cool. You with Albion? Please, think more underground. You with Albion? I'm tickled, but think more underground. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Different, it's a different character. And they make the story nice. not only, you know, unique to them, but unique to you as the player and, and personal to you because they're, you know, heroes that you've chosen and invested in. What would I say to fans? I guess I'd say, you know, uh, take care of yourselves, stay safe. Welcome to the resistance. Oh, nice. I like how they did a overlay oh, with this face. London town. A modern metropolis. Oh. Built on history and Beautiful. prosperity. Beautiful. I've always Only wanted to go there. Only yeah. years to build it up. And one night to tear it all down. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. oh my god. How did their oh intelligence god. not see this coming? Yeah, am I six? Yeah. But the Froyo. Oh boy. Oh, it was planned. You know? With London under attack by a mysterious terrorist. Government. Or the, the company Albion. To a private military company private called military. Albion to keep everyone safe. What could possibly go wrong? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nigel Cass, CEO of Albion. Why is he in the field? Stepped up to establish order. So why is Jack Bauer in the field? Understand the head of CTU? I will not allow anyone. Yeah, okay. <laughs> not even myself to jeopardize this. Oh. He will stop at nothing to permanently control the city. Oh, this game looks great. London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. <laughs> Nigel's uh. not the only opportunist who's taken a liking to this fair city. <laughs> There was an uh, P226. Powerful crime syndicate in London. Be sure and spread the word. She and her goons are using the dark web to sell everything from party pills to people. This microchip is scary, I know, but I got to keep tracks on my merchandise, didn't I? You made me a slave. You do not want to ruffle her. Oh shit! Whoa. Oh, that's With the sick. City out on its arms, I like it. It now falls on you to build a resistance and take back London. <laughs> All right, everyone. Oh, yeah. Faces on, guns out. 
any of the brave Londoners you see walking the streets can be recruited into your team. Oh yes, luck off. Like <laughs> him. Bam. Her. Ooh. Or even her. <laughs> Everyone could become your next secret weapon. In our first nice. mission, we need to get some dirt on Nigel Cass, and that means breaking into Albion headquarters inside the Tower of London. The first of mission, the you say? Souls you see here are <laughs> oh my people God! We have recruited from the streets Spy. of London. They all have unique abilities, and you're free to tackle this mission French? with whoever you like. What? Nilgun? Oh shit! Zip up, get to work, and let's never talk about this again. Is he peeing? <laughs> he was. <laughs> like oh, this looks so great. Me too, Chef Beard. Pretty Pretty welcome. Whatever. Don't forget to smack the like button, guys. Oh, yes. He has Perfect. a particular set of tools that make him oh. handy. Oh. 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 I love Why this. does it take so many beats? Why not? I don't want them to die immediately. That's boring. No, that's true, but... This doesn't... It's a pretty heavy thing oh, to get your, your your skull bashed in with. Yeah. True, but and it's more fun this way. Regular old gun when you have a bloody nail gun. Yeah, yeah right. so cool. I love it. Oh, oh, oh! There goes your Drum AR now, man. Oh, oh my! The way he holds it too. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> diff, diff. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> Perhaps we could approach this mission differently. If you'd rather what? keep your distance, we've got oh, you that's covered. cool. Amy is a drone expert. What have we here? A real <laughs> tech connoisseur. Oh. oh, did you see the glasses? Yeah, that's Spikes. cool. Augmented but reality. What an adorable uh -oh. creepy crawler. Here we are. Oh, oh shit. Class the place up. A drone expert does have the unique ability to summon their own drone. This little darling is fast and stealthy. She aims, she fires, she hits. Nice. Reading incoming drones. Woo! Parkour. I hate how they can, can all parkour. Drones, no, not all of them. No, favor. that's true. Old lady, they can't do and certain things. Nice. Slower. There are more ways than one to get the job done. Some people are more clumsier. Oh, Albion. Recruiting an Albion officer like Brielle here might be challenging. But it'll get you inside restricted Albion areas. That's don't mind me. Just a year ago, this said this wasn't possible. However, there was anything suspicious, this. and she'll probably nice. wind up with a bullet in the back of her head. You've been approved for entry. So cool. Yeah, man. Missing the human element here. I can Corporate get the defense minister, minister on the line well, right now. Well, if you feel you must. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Oh, Oof. brain matter there. Criminals oh, running shit. our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. <laughs> assassinated by terrorists. Well, that seems to be enough evidence. Yeah. Next up, we're crashing Mary Kelly's organ farming operation and putting a stop to it. That's good. The buyers expect high quality stuff. And we need a hard nut for this. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Bags, don't disturb me in my natural habitat. Say hello to Mickey, the man oh, who boy. lives for his team. I put another air on my chest. And doesn't mind getting his hands dirty. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, shit. Oh, this looks so cool. Look yeah, man. man. Oh, oh bottle. A bottle. A slight drinking problem though. Oh. And he's passed out. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> we'll come back to him. You know what? Let's go with someone a bit more professional. Is that a dog? John Wig. <laughs> it's John Wig. It's, it's a John Wig. Flash. Oh, yes. Yes, did you see it? Yes. Yeah. <gasps> John Wick. It's almost crass to call Even the music is John Wick. Man. Yeah. Look at that uh, gun. can do combat rolls. Yeah. Yeah, this is John Wick. <laughs> this is my game. This is the game I've always wanted, you know? I know. Some might Me too. Call him an artist. Oh. Mm. oh my god. Oh my god. 
We're gonna play this together on the, on the channel. Nice. That was very satisfying to watch. Not bad if I do say so, innit? Not everyone in London is a legendary assassin or a super spy, but everyone can be a hero. Fight Club. Oh. Find the best recruits and build your resistance. Paintball gun. Paintball gun. Yeah, that's cool. I love the variety. That's very oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to take back London. Lies. When? 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 It's October 29th! Yes! Oh, yes. Oh, fuck yeah. Three City, months. Yeah. Teaming with unique locales and characters has always been a central <sighs> pillar of the Watch Yeah, series. boy! So what goes into building those worlds? Here's Amanda <sighs> Mutt to tell us more. Oh, that's cool. A little behind the scenes. I like that. More? Oh, cool. My name's Amanda Mutt. I'm a level artist on Watch Dogs Legion at Ubisoft Toronto. Being a level artist, I think, is the coolest job in video games because we do get the freedom to, to kind of like pick and choose what little details we want to depict. And we get ample opportunities to tell the stories that we want to tell in the spaces that we're assigned to. I have the capacity to hide things and, you know, like small little Easter eggs. In AC Unity, there was a boat somewhere in the world that was covered in cats. What? And then it happened again in Watch Dogs 2. And there may or may not be something in London that is a boat filled with cats in some capacity. So. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to go to E3 last year. Some of the people that I was showing our demo to were from London. So no matter where I dropped them in the city, they would go, oh my God, this feels like Camden. This, you know, this feels like Southwark. This feels like Westminster when nice. people are talking about some detail that I've put into the world and they're excited about it. Like that feels so good <laughs> as somebody who, you know, builds these worlds with care. I love it. <laughs> and now some news for Brawl Hollow fans. In just a few weeks, you'll be able to battle it out with your favorite legends on iOS and Android devices. Cool. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, sure. Three, two, one, brawl! Really? Is that many? They have a bunch of characters. There were 40 million players? I didn't know it was that popular. Yeah, this is a fun game. It's like Super Smash Bros. on Nintendo. Do you know what yeah, game? Yeah, I don't like that. It's not my type of game, but I can oh, yeah. I can imagine it's people fun. like it. It's just very satisfying. Yeah. The more you hit someone, you know, the more he's vulnerable. And then uh, if I'm, and then when they're like very damaged, they you hit them once, they fly off. You know. It's oh, so nice. Fun. Very satisfying. And now, whether you need a Tom Clancy action fix on the go. I want to dive back into one of the most beloved fantasy franchises in gaming. We've got you covered. Team from Clancy. Part of Magic. I feel like it's another mobile game. Yeah, probably. Might, Might and Magic EOC. I like the music. You're welcome. It's a mobile game. Yep. It's fly? Yeah. I know, right? Get the fuck! It's out small of here. flies, yeah. No, they're it's very so small. annoying. Just go away. <laughs> Get the gun. <laughs> they're so dumb. <laughs> That's so cool to kill. <laughs> Yeah, but they're so small, so close to my face that I can't just like me. Yeah, I Usually I can just grab some of these flies, but they're just so annoying and small. The target is being held on the ground floor. Hey, this is the mob uh, from Siege. Yeah, it is. This is Siege. Ooh. The mobile version. All oh, right. Elite Squad. Nice. Oh, it's the guy from the yeah, Ghost Yeah, exactly. Fun. Nice. 
Motherfucker. Wee. Nice. Ooh. Oh, Contact. your feet! Montaigne is down. Request air support. Target what? northeast rooftop. <laughs> Roger. Inbound. Danger close. I need an EMP deployed now. Nice. EMP. Oh, it's Sam Fisher. In the cell. Get back in your cell. Nice. Hey, take this. Why are you protecting him? Don't make me regret this. <laughs> yeah, booster. <laughs> Speaking of Tom Clancy, it's been five years since Rainbow Six Siege first launched, and the community has never been the stronger. Games, In know. celebration of this milestone, Ubisoft Montreal has put together a special video the beginning, so to thank all the know, amazing get, players and the developers with it, you know, that have helped Siege become the game it is be today. Done with it. They have an, a whole hour to fill. They can't just go through all the trailers and be done. I know. But this is December old school footage. A this small is the... team released Rainbow Six Siege. It's like the beta. Ah. And the game came so far. A game built yeah. on a strong vision. Creativity, competitiveness, and team play. For the player, the 1st of December is a début, but for us aussi. Il faut tout de suite s'engager oui. et dire aux joueurs ce jeu est installé. Tu peux I feel like this game changed Ubisoft for the better. This is the yeah. first game they like support even if it's so bad. Propelling it to a whole new level. Oh my god! Woo! I got it! I got it! This is such a special moment and being at one year anniversary of Rainbow Six now, game being uh, stronger than ever, uh, more players today than we had in the past, it means uh, the world to us. But we also had our share of challenges. Good ducks. Um, Lots health of ducks. that touches upon subject like matchmaking, connectivity, all those aspects are absolutely critical to the experience of the player. Yeah. Through it all, we're always driven by you, our community, and together we grow stronger. There is no sequel plan, and we are here for the next 10 years, so expect more Rainbow Six in your life for quite some time. Les succès, c'est vraiment le résultat de autant de nous que de vous. Ce jeu, il est autant le vôtre qu'il est le nôtre, nous, l'équipe de développement. Now 60 million players strong. Wow. We're just getting started. <laughs> From the devs that build the game to the community that plays it, thank you. Years. If you haven't tried it yet, dive into our new Operation Steel Wave update available now and take oh. Ace and Malusi out for a spin. A few days ago, we introduced y'all to a brand new multiplayer shooter. Now, it's time to venture into the hyperscape. Oh yeah, that's true. I saw that. But I didn't really think know what to think about it, but... It's a Battle Royale game, so I probably just uh... for you. in the hyperscape that's not supposed to be there well, let me get you all up to speed okay about 30 years ago everything that we feared about our future started to come true we made some good decisions we made some bad decisions actually we made a lot of bad decisions <laughs> <laughs> what the fro? Oh. 
Ten billion souls living in the crush of the megacities. But the people at Prisma <laughs> changed everything. Nice. They gave everyone a way out. The Hyperscape. In the Hyperscape, the biggest draw by far is Crown Rush. Like ready this player is where anyone yeah. can become someone. So it's a game within a game. Yeah. The Inception. Yeah. Kind of feels like the Hunger Games as well. Yeah, it's Hunger Games based on Battle yeah. Royale. Also with the counter and everything, you know. Good. If you get good at Crown Rush, it can change your life. They also made like a but Twitch implementation, so people can vote what happens in the game. You know, certain events. Rumors oh, of nice. people getting hurt. Users disappearing from the real world. A darker secret lies at the heart of Hyperscape. And we have to find it. They Some all live inside a computer. A oh up. my god. Some of us for a way out. And for others, a new way all together. That's what brings us to the edge of the future. I like the graphics the though. Hyperscape. I mean, I don't know if this gameplay or just cinematic, CGI, but it looks, but it looks very I'm close JC to the gameplay. I'm creative director on nice. Hyperscape. JC's work on Far Cry Primal and multiple Prince of Persia titles has established oh, him as a top creative nice. here at Ubisoft. For me, what's exciting is uh, we started uh, building it from scratch, uh, seeing it grow, uh, adding ideas. Uh, it's really Ubisoft cool. Montreal. Hello, That's a contender. Good yeah. Welcome to the Hyperscape. The game takes place in 2054. It's in a future where humanity oh, has it looks way more darker. cartoony, dude. That's the point. The, it needs to run on all, all kinds of machines also. The, yeah. the, the point wasn't the battle royale. The point wasn't the the point was was everything uh, photorealism. It just, you know, needs to look nice. Within the virtual world, there is a battle royale that takes place in the virtual city of Neo Arcadia. Then we also introduce a lot of new things. You get the opportunity to do parkour on the rooftops, to go into interiors where it's much more narrow, much more stressful. Uh, you get to go to the landmarks where there's more uh, opportunities to get cool items, but also more players, so it's a risk-reward kind of deal. Mm. We introduce the notion of hacks, special abilities that you can pick up on the fly to adapt your tactics. With hacks, God. you can do things Stop like hacking, dude. Stop uh, it. You can wrap yourself <laughs> into a ball and uh, bounce it's around the battlefield. It's not hacking if it's in the game. So a lot of <laughs> that I can already see it happening. Fun, <laughs> that toys that you can play with. Yes, yes, they do just Find dance me, as well, also just racing so games. All the yeah. viewers will be able to and I know, yeah. Game on different levels this game is supposed to be free. So, uh, so ah, in yeah. a few minutes, there's going to be a vote, and viewers will be able to decide what effect they want to affect the whole battle. So things like changing the gravity, uh, infinite ammo, or stuff oh. like that. So players, while this happens, really have to adapt to all kinds of stuff that is happening. Seems fun. So for me, it's really exciting. To do that with a group right sometime. now, as we speak, we are launching the open beta, and so it's going to be available for uh, free to play for all PC players worldwide. And I really want to thank all the uh, players, all the streamers, all the, all the viewers player. who participated in tech test and uh, who will participate in the open beta. Here's a short glimpse <laughs> of what you can expect. Yeah, booster. <laughs> he says it's Thurston's wet dream being allowed to hack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Let me zoom this in, by the way, that's easier. Yeah, zoom the bit in. Showtime. That's mine. <laughs> Let's show them what I made of. Pew! Oh, I like the reload animation. Go to yeah. They're very snappy. Pew! Whoa. 
Oh, that's gonna be hard, man. If you just get launched Corner into the sky that fast to adjust your aim. Not really. No? Depends on how fast, how fast you fall. Yeah. No. Get good. Boy. I'll use hacks. <laughs> yeah. The digital world of the hyperscape gave our artists and developers incredible freedom when it came to designing characters. Production manager Anna Maria Muska is going to take us behind the scenes of character design. My name is Anna Maria Muska. I'm the production manager for characters and weapons on Hyperscape. Nice. We have paid an exceptional amount of detail to our characters. We switch different outfits, different fashion statements, different tattoos, different materials until we see them as real individuals, as real people. So the second you pick a character, you see them in game, you understand what their motivations are and what drives them and what challenges them. This was the first lineup of characters. This is our default base, but even starting from the hair down, everything has been meticulously thought of. Would this person actually like this type of outfit? Would this person enjoy the type of tattoos that we're putting on them? Will they actually like to be <laughs> in this body? Each season, we plan to produce new outfits for these characters. So we're hoping some of our players are gonna see the effort and maybe even correlate some of the accessories to what's going to happen in the game. We're very excited to see it in people's hands. As we move into the next generation of gaming, Ubisoft has been working closely with console makers to take advantage of all the extraordinary capabilities these new consoles will offer. Now we have a special guest to tell us a little more. Hey, everyone. Phil Spencer from Xbox. Phil Spencer. With Watch Dogs Legion, Ubisoft is supporting smart delivery. So you will get the absolute best version of the game on any version of Xbox you're playing on. On Series X, you'll get to take advantage of the amazing work the team has done with DirectX ray tracing to create an absolutely immersive version of London like you've never seen before. Ubisoft has a unique ability to create immersive worlds, setting a new bar that continues to drive our industry forward. Hey, Slim Biggins, what's up, I'm dude? I'm a huge fan of Assassin's Creed. We're I doing fine, are we doing? I love the time I've spent exploring the world oh, yeah. in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And I can't wait for you to see the gameplay from Assassin's Creed Valhalla that's coming up now. Right now. All right. Gameplay? I know you've been waiting to hear more about this game since it was announced back in April. And now it's time for a deep dive into the world of Vikings. I want to see the combat. Yes! My name is Julia Ferrier and I'm the producer of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So a couple of weeks ago we announced Assassin's Creed Valhalla and the reaction from the fans was just amazing. The time period of Vikings is really, really inspiring. When we did our research, we found that, you know, there were not mindless barbarians. Vikings were actually farmers trying to find new lands for them to settle. And so they had really human motivations. So for us to have this opportunity to tell kind of the real story about Vikings and kind of separate ourselves from the myths and the folklore is really something that drove us to, to make this game. The team went to Norway and England to take oh. the same roads that the Vikings did to really experience what it meant to be a Viking at that time. <laughs> and then leaving Norway, which is barren but majestic, and just coming by boat in England and see those rolling green hills full of sheep, full of life, is just this moment that most likely the Vikings London. felt as well. You need to see this land of opportunity. And this is exactly the feeling we want players to experience in this game. It is a personal adventure, you know? It is the story of Eivor, a Viking chieftain. Eivor is uh, either a male or a female. You decide when you start the game. They will have to leave Norway to settle in England because you just can't live in Norway anymore. There's too much political pressure, no resources available.
Obviously in England, Good it's beam, full of saxons and other people, and they don't really want you there. So you will have to fight your way there to kind of build your own settlement and see your clan prosper. Oh yeah. Vikings were brutal warriors. Shields! Shield wall. And the fact that they were mastering a lot of weapons coming from the medieval times really inspired us to kind of revamp the fight system. To leverage the brutality and the intensity of Viking combat. Vikings were not only fighting face to face, they were masters of stealth and deception when needed. They used basically any sort of tactics they could use to win the battle. So we want to portray the full range of combat that you can imagine coming from the Vikings. Ah, oh, so oh, beautiful. It's on the top. We yeah, are low. very happy to so finally low. be able to show you the game we've all been working on. So please enjoy this deep dive into Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Nice. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you will relive the epic saga of the Viking invasion of England. You play as Eivor, a Viking from Norway, who will lead his or her battle-hardened warriors across the North Sea to the British Isles. Eivor is driven by an ambitious goal, to build a thriving Norse settlement in a hostile land. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. England is a dark age tangle of broken kingdoms and warring dynasties. A land of opportunity These are not the riches. final graphics, right? As you, you prowl England's rivers know, it by looks long kind shift, of compression, you, you may know? raid locations ah, yeah, to spot the shoreline. Kind of compression. Ground your ship and blow your horn to lead your raiding crew into battle. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, did his head pop off? I don't know. Oh, that's nice. It's finally burns completely. Your crew will assist you in all your raids, fighting enemies, battering down doors, and stealing cargo too heavy for one set of arms. Wow. Whatever riches and resources you pillage may be used to develop your settlement. Giving you access to useful services. Oh that yes, that looks beautiful. Oh, yes, but you can build. At the heart of your settlement is the Alliance map. Oh yeah, bro. It will serve as a record of the allies you have made and a guide for future opportunities. Oh, you probably pay someone and just build. The Viking know? Age was a time itself. of warriors oh. and legends. In Valhalla, you will find the largest variety of enemies ever assembled in an Assassin's Creed game. Every archetype offers a unique challenge. Some will coordinate with their allies for special attacks, oh. while others will use nearby objects to their advantage, including the bodies of fallen warriors. Oh, that's cool. To face wow. these attacks, you must find and exploit your opponent's weaknesses to gain the upper hand. Take the fight to your foes with a host of brutal new combat abilities. Snare them with a Viking harpoon. Whoa! That's for the Come first time. The throwing axes. The... Incapacitate or. them with the new stun system to keep them at a distance or finish them off. Oh, yeah. Oh, so lovely. Dual wield any two weapons you wish to unleash a deadly two combination shields. of attacks. Yeah, you could do that. Customize your fighting style as you This see looks already better and than And become uh, a legendary Viking warrior. Oh, my God. This looks way better than the combat. Yeah. Odyssey and Origins. All combinations of weapons are available to dual wield, including two shields. <laughs> you call that spinning attack. <laughs> he said that, and I saw two shields. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, yeah. Jeez. Not all situations call for violence. In this new land, a Viking must find a way to adapt. Land? That's, As that was not in, not in the previous in ones anymore, right? You may they revamped it back to the originals. Avoiding yeah. unwanted nice. attention in towns and bustling cities. I mean, syndicate. 
Use Eivor's hood and cloak to blend oh. with crowds. You're and hiding in the watchful eyes. Nice. An unseen We're gonna play this most people. definitely, guys. But me with V, you mean me and you're gonna watch. Probably, maybe I'll play something cool if I am good enough. Villages, to the dense forests and rolling hills of England. Exploration is vital to keeping yourself okay. sharp. You must feed off the land if you hope to endure. Hunt and forage to replenish your health. Oh boy, feed on equipment. Oh wow. That's oh. a big old, big oh, oh full scorpion. So stone <laughs> temples and Roman hey, yeah. ruins for new activities and challenges to strengthen yourself and your settlement. Look at the Nordic light. Aurora Borealis. The more, explore, the more of England's secrets you will reveal. Is it a crow? Your could bird? Be. That would be cool. Just of Odin. Yeah, it could be. But as you push deeper into England, the enemy will push back. In a series of climactic moments, Assassin's Creed Valhalla will feature massive assaults in which you will lead Eivor's army into battle against heavily guarded oh. Saxon fortresses. Today, oh, that's cool. Today we fight for your land, and tomorrow we rebuild. For East Anglia. For East Anglia. Assassin's Creed oh, that's Valhalla a beautiful house. will transport you to wondrous and haunted lands inspired by Norse myths and England's nice. pagan roots. It will challenge and surprise. Thank you, man. With Norway and England? Yeah. Thrilling triumphs and tragic losses, giving you the chance to live your own Viking saga. Whoa! Whoa X-ray! What? <laughs> oh, yes! Yeah. That's what we need in our post show. We're gonna watch the post show. You heard it right here first, guys. <laughs> Ooh, oh, yeah. November 17th. Yeah. Ooh, November 17th. Soon. Yeah. I think now it's time for Far Cry. Ninth century England is truly unlike anything the franchise has seen before. I need to pee, but Assassin's I don't want to. Assassin's Creed Valhalla will release <laughs> this holiday season on Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, PS4, PC, and Stadia. So we're gonna get to PlayStation to 5 is coming out around November. CEO, Probably, Gmail, if he said, you know, it's words. not coming out of PlayStation 4, like they said there, right? Yeah. I, I hope you will have enjoyed what you have seen today and Ooh. that you will love playing these games. I'm proud of our teams for delivering an ambitious, broad and creative lineup of games. Oh. And we yeah, haven't shown you more. everything yet. In fact, we have a lot more to come. So you will have another Ubisoft forward to reveal even more about our upcoming games. But before ending this show, we have one more thing to share with you. Better be. Yeah, yeah. there it is, guys. Shh. Yeah, far cry. Shh. Shut. Oh wait, never mind. What's this? Prince of Persia. God damn it. Is it? No, this this guy. Esposito. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Shh. 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 Fuck. Espacito. Bam. Shakira. Oh, this yep. looks beautiful. Yeah. Try this. Fuck you, Tim. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> wow. Looks like a movie, man. <gasps> yes. Start. Is this in the 80s? Yeah, I think so. Maybe or not of 70s? Or older.
Yeah. That's a cool trailer. Gameplay now, please? But this is not. This is the trailer. This is the one that leaked. It looks like a. No, it's more than times. It's beautiful, Migo. Perfect, but useless. I have something for you, Diego. Give me your hands. Papa. Now, the grenade is simple. It has four basic parts. The shell, which contains the explosive, the fuse, the handle, and of course, hey, Dave. the pin. Bling. What are you doing? Breathe, Diego. Breathe. The pin simply holds the handle in place. It is only when you let go that this grenade goes boom. Bro. Follow me. Uh. Yeah. Now. Nope. <laughs> It's uh, the same voice actor, Slim Biggins. El Presidente, which means Tropico? that someday you <laughs> will be oh. El Presidente. And our people... More expensive. They do not know how to be happy. <laughs> they are torn apart by opinions, noise, indecision, strangled by their own freedoms. And even if you have love in your heart, even if you want what's best for them, Ooh, if you only want to save them from themselves. They will hate you, Diego. Everything you say, do, believe, will be wrong. Metropolitan area. Yeah. Oh. Ever had that in a Far Cry? Never. Nope. That will be great. They will answer you with screams. Call you evil. A monster. And give you this. So you tell me, are you evil? Soon. February. That's soon. Not soon enough. Damn it. This soon. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, but if it if it doesn't get delayed. And with that, we're wrapping up our first Ubisoft forward. First. Today we've seen the next generation of Assassin's Creed, the birth of a resistance in Watch Dogs Legion, the cyber chaos of Hyperscape, and the epic reveal of Far Cry's newest installment along with so much more. Remember, we'll be back later this year with another Ubisoft Forward filled with tons of game news and updates. Thanks for joining us. Wow. Insane! Oh! 
everyone, right. welcome to the Ubisoft Forward post show. My name is Yusuf McGee, and this is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We're going to take a deep dive into about 30 oh, minutes of shit. gameplay, it's and like we're joined by a very special guest here. Hey, hey everyone, uh, this is Philippe Bergeron, uh, otherwise known as Fizz. I am the quest director on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So, Fizz, we're setting up here for what looks like an epic encounter. Tell us exactly what's going on here. Yeah, so here we're midway through the uh, the quest that we're showing um, for you before. Here we're looking at the assault of Bird Castle. Um, so these are big moments that usually uh, sort of culminate at the end of the story. And so here Avar, our Viking raider, is taking a group of raiders and firds into Bird Castle to go and take down Ruid uh, and his clan. So who exactly is Ruid, and why does Eivor sort of want to pick a fight with him? Basically, Ruid comes into play about halfway through this story arc, where at the beginning of the arc, this is something that, that happens before, Ruid basically caused a lot of turmoil within the territory, and Oswald, who's the sort of elderman to be to inherit this territory, needs your help to take him down. Oswald having just been defeated in a previous quest, and so here this is revenge, but also accomplishing your ultimate goal. So Fizz, as you're talking, we're seeing some of the combat of Valhalla. Can you tell us a little bit about the changes to combat this time around? We wanted to uh, basically add a lot of new mechanics to it. So we added like some dual wielding for the player, like a stun system in there. And we really needed to do this to sort of portray that sort of the brutality that comes with being a Viking. Oh, the city just sort of fits in nice. that, uh, the Damn. time uh, and the character. Ooh, though. Ooh, though. Nice. Oswald, he lives. Oswald lives! Eivor, is that you? Shut your ass, twig spine. Here, Eivor has taken her entire army through the assault, and finally, it's revealed that our, our elderman, our ally, Oswald, is still alive, and Ruid has him captive. So this is what it comes to, Wolfkist? Two Danes fighting over a filthy Saxon horse, son? This swine is your prize! Come and get him! So now that we've seen that Oswald is alive, we have Ruid within our sights. Uh, what's the next step here? So the next move for Eivor is to finally uh, face off against Ruid. She has her allies, they can take care of the rest of the army. Now it's time to go one-on-one -on -one against Ruid in one of our boss battles, actually. Your battle is not won, Oswald! And it's worth pointing out, actually, that here what we're showing is the player um, going and facing off against Ruid aggressively, but you, we tend to always have a... to support a 360-degree approach in these things. So the player could have approached us a little bit more stealthy and gotten at least, like, a good critical hit on either Ruid or his wolf, and so you can play this a little bit more strategically if that's nice. your playstyle. So we're not only fighting Ruid here, but, the but people also that like stealth, I'm going, I'm going to here, like that. One of the, my preferred strategies is to eliminate the wolf first, just focus fire on him. It takes at least one opponent out of the combat. Now Ruid will have extra abilities that come into play if you do eliminate his wolf. Um, but I think having one opponent less in the battlefield makes for a good strategy uh, in the whole. <sighs> Only the cold dark of Niflheim awaits you. Valhalla is my destiny. That thing will not be met today. Why does they should be ruled, Wolfkist? Made thralls, not treated as equals. We are better than this, than all of them. Do not drag me down to the sewage you wallow in. I just had gained my tooth and nail for a second. You'd throw in with these wastrels, these arrogant swine? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> All right, so we've defeated Ruid, we freed Oswald. What comes next? Oswald, in this case, prefers for Ruid to be kept alive. And so you basically have to choose, are you going to go against his witches or t stay true to your nature? So we have this choice to make, but before we get into that, I want to rewind a little bit because we just did this big grand assault, but Eivor couldn't have done it alone. 
she clearly had to recruit some folks along the way, get some troops, get some allies. So let's actually rewind and see how we went about first Bolt gathering forward. those troops. <laughs> right. So Bolt forward. when coming up to an assault, <laughs> it's a game of numbers. Eivor can go into pretty much any location and be uh, a stealthy Viking, eliminating some of the assets, which ultimately would be a strategy. You can do that and you'll have some um, some of the ingredients or uh, of the assets there that will have been sabotaged, but you still need an army. So here what we're seeing is Eivor going around the countryside and raising what we call a third, which is the men and the women of the territory who come up and fight in the name of a king. So here Eivor is going around and trying to convince people to fight in the name of Oswald to finally take down the oppressor that is Ruid. Defending East Anglia, defending you. Will you not do the same? What? in defense of a last cause yeah so she, she's really using like the the image and like the the leadership that Elswald have what he meant to the people in his name she's going to recruit these people pretty words Dane I like the way the eyes look. You know, they look very believable so we're told yeah. by this Reeve that there are troops there are allies that he could add to our cause but first we sort of need to do him a favor, is that right? Yeah, so um, obviously these people have been run down by Ruid and uh, the, the impact he's had on the territory. So I think a lot of these people have sort of lost hope. And so you need to show them that there is hope. And so here Eivor is basically helping them take back one of their, their prize locations um, by taking a couple men and raiding a nearby um, township basically taking it back for the people and showing that there's there's a reason to continue fighting and then get them on your side fight 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 twitter is now releasing or ubisoft is now releasing messages about far cry 6 on twitter <laughs> Probably time, or somebody was when just waiting Ford with the does buttons. This, obviously, you have access yeah. to a full suite of yeah. abilities. So, Eight. again, the improvements that we've done to the fight system. Um, you have some brutal axe something with the paradise. You have archery or like uh, range combat abilities in there as well. Um, so, really, again, like depending on what your play style is, you, oh, can you don't have it yet. Out and go in there um, how you wish. <laughs> Are you gonna play this? Fizz, we just saw this giant. We are, you're out. right. What exactly was that? Why not? So that is actually this I mean, what we call the Odin side. Yeah, the Odin side play, is basically our like interpretation play, you know? of the yeah, we can play both uh, vision from previous games. And we thought it was oh, good. Well, with this one, I actually love the story. It's basically intuition. Yeah, it's how she I'm really into the Vikings. World. When Blair uses that, you can. But it seems really hard. It'll highlight basically. You, you play the Witcher. Things that will bring her. On your own. And you manage. No, not really. And you manage. Not really. Consumables that are in there. And you manage. This is easier than that. Good way of sort of understanding. It looks. It looks hard, but it isn't. Like things that you can go and we'll touch. see. I'll try it definitely. Yeah, I mean, speaking of things we can touch, we just picked up this awesome new weapon. It's something we wanted to play with on Assassin's Creed Valhalla, where we have fewer weapons in the game, but you can invest in them more so they become your oh. weapon. And so, depending on what your preferred playstyle is or your preferred weapon type, then you can go and choose. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fight with this weapon and invest heavily into that. Not only are we looting weapons, but we see something here called the Book of Knowledge. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? They unlock skills for the players. So here you can see the Valkyrie die that has just been unlocked. We have these spread out throughout the world. So again, to promote exploration and discovery, as nice. you travel through the world and you explore locations, you can find these books that will add abilities that you can go and invest in, put into your loadout, then go into the different locations with the oh, different uh, the quests in the game the and use those stones. depending on what your playstyle is. Yeah, there's some new animations. Now we've timing. recaptured this village, we've secured more troops for our assault. Let's jump back now and figure out what we want to do with Ruid. The rightful king of East Anglia has spared your life today, and so it will be. Oh, bye Slim, thanks for stopping by, dude. See you next time, buddy. Hey. Compassion is a virtue suited for anyone, Eivor, including you. Thank you. 
Eivor decide to let him live. Ruid is really angry about that. Being a Norse Viking, being put to the death in battle is your road to Valhalla. So he was basically denied access to Valhalla in this situation. Obviously, all of these decisions come into play later on in the game, so we have very difficult decisions for the player to make. We didn't want to have easy uh, decisions. Yeah, you know, when I was playing, I, I decided to listen to Oswald and spare Ruid's life. But what exactly is the relationship like between Eivor and Oswald? So the relationship between Eivor and Oswald is is, is an alliance. It's uh, basically Eivor is surrounded by territories um, that initially getting into England are hostile towards her. And um, obviously, if you want to set up a new settlement, you want to have make sure that your neighbor is friendly. Um, so here in East Anglia, Oswald is the man for the job where putting him into a position of power would help her sort of secure her territory. Um, so earlier on to the territory, uh, Eivor comes in here, meets Oswald. The problems he had with Rued are sort of put to light, and going through the arc, you basically help him deal with Rued and, and aligning basically Danes with Saxons in one um, territory. So, Fizz, we've nice. completed the assault. We've gotten our hands dirty with some combat, taken down Rued. We have this big open region of East Anglia, so before we head off to Oswald's wedding, what do you say we head out, have some fun, and see what we can get into in the open world? That sounds great. So we see a cat here with a speech bubble above it, and you best believe if you let me talk to a cat, I'm going to talk to a cat. Yeah, these, these are some of our... Um... Some of my favorite moments actually in the game where we put in put out a whole bunch of events throughout the territory um, And it sort of rewards again exploration going around It's a it's a sh chance for us also to sort of showcase a different side of Eivor A lot of the quests sort of deal worth more with like politics and warfare and this shows a slightly more human nature to her uh, So it permit us to explore that character a little bit more Nice, right? Gotta rescue a cat. And so sure here, thing. basically, like you're you're trying to help a kid with his cat, and ultimately get that cat to sort of join your crew uh, as a cat raider. You just said so cat raider Norwegian, way too uh, casually. You told me I could have a cat Viking raider on my longship. That's that's Look. exactly what I'm telling you. Oh my god! Yes, I love it. Oh, Perfect. You're hooked. You're hooked right now. So yeah, as, as right? you're riding so, like, around cats, the, the, cats the rivers your... of England, you would see a I cat guess. basically walking around Why are you not excited about this game? Keeping your Viking raiders company. Oh, are you seriously asking, asking me this? <laughs> We're seeing I haven't finished like Origins Can you talk a little bit and about Odyssey. How that works in the I know. In Valhalla? Yeah, but so, this is so different. So starting out on this project, yeah, um, but I, I am think the Viking longship is one of the biggest images that we all have when we think about Vikings in our game. I mean, you need to start playing games. Awesome That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. For launch, well, do. Very shallow hall, yeah, so it permitted them to go very oh, far in land dude, very quickly, and you could basically Ooh, disembark like uh, Viking Wolfie. raiders like on yeah. pretty much any yeah. shore. Yeah. We added that into the game where you can basically s uh, sail up to any location and then just decide to disembark with your guys and raid a location, loot all his treasure, get back in the ship, oh, and then cool. continue uh, sailing the down mast, the river so it oh, yeah, to the next cool. opportunity. So I know past Assassin's Creed games allowed for songs and things like that to be sung on ships. Will Valhalla have a similar version of that? Yeah, so this is something we, we actually wanted the the crew of your ship to become like your your home away from home. So we added stories and songs into uh, the ship. So basically, as the player is going around, you could decide to have your skull sort of sing a song for you as you row down the river. But you can also decide, depending on who the raiders are in your ship, to hear more about their life. So you can actually queue up stories, and they'll give you a little bit more background on who they are. So you get to know your your sort of fighters as you're traveling around the world, which is a cool um, moment. That's also cool. Yeah. Oh, look so at here this. we're seeing a bit of a different view. What exactly are we looking at? We had this on, on previous assassins oh. where you would like oh. ride on on your horse and you could pull out, have the road the the horse sort of follow the track. We have a similar thing for the ship where you can put up your sails. It's cruise control for the ship, Thank so gosh. you can pull back, take in the scenery, listen to some songs oh, or wow. some stories, and just take it all in. That's beautiful. So, you know, speaking of Viking songs, we have an activity here that's not exactly singing, but kind of related, right? Yeah, so here what we have is what we call flighting, which was an activity that Norse people would partake in. 
they would like to have a battle of wits and and sort of poetry where insults would be thrown back and forth between each other the idea was to try and have a good insult um, but also to have a good rhythm and a good rhyme in there so it, it's basically a precursor to rap battles hmm. Hmm. here's the silver now begin to all those whom I speak they say Ava was a clod Ooh, time. You then you're that? speaking to fools and their knowledge is flawed. Well, how exactly what? do you go about being successful in one of these? The, the trick behind a good flight was to choose the right insult, um, identifying the right cadence, and then trying to find and what rhymed the best. We get to diss people and we're in Interesting. Interesting. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Get ready for some yo mama jokes. <laughs> <laughs> then you've clearly misheard them. My wit is immense. Oh, you looked out with that one. Well, what a surprise. Eivor of the Raven Clan is a true talent. I'm shocked. Don't believe everything you hear. Unless it touches on my flighting. Then heed every word. Take the coin. So now that we've proven our sharp tongue and wit, uh, I think it's time for a bit more relaxing activity. So we're, we're fishing here. Yeah, that's it. Um, right, so the, we gave Eivor kind of a fishing, fishing line, so you can actually throw out a line and, and go catch some fish. Um, this is used basically to, uh, uh, to play into our new health loop where the player will lose health in, in the world and it doesn't automatically generate regenerate like we would have in the past so you actually have to go out and get some some supplies so you'll find mushrooms uh and some food that you can gather but here like we you you can ca also catch some fish and consume that to regain some health if we also so will sometimes have it in in certain quests so it's a good way to sort of chill out on the side of the uh, of the water and just again take it all That's in cool Gives me more more of a reason to fish and for food. Yeah. So this is what we call one of our offering altars. So the idea is that you you find these around the world and you make offerings to it. So it'll take like animal parts and stuff that you can find throughout the world. Here, what you're seeing though is sort of like a, a fancy version of it, where as you do your offering, you get interrupted by some some kids that basically come and steal your stuff. There, there. So it was just a way for us to sort of showcase that, like, the some systems and the activities in the world can sort of play in with some, some quests and some little events. So it's our way to sort of dress up these moments and make it all fit inside the, the whole experience. Yeah, this seemed like a really sort of unexpected turn for what I thought was going to be kind of a simple interaction. Yeah, and it's really what we were trying to do with these events is to is to give another dimension to Eivor, other than just, you know, the pure rar Viking or the politician. Because you can imagine at some point that will we'll grow old if you're always telling that, that, that version of the character. So it, it lets us really go into the depth of who is Eivor, uh, what motivates her, how she can interact with the world outside of uh, warfare and politics. And it also showcases like a, a different facet of the world at the same time. It's not only Eivor. So it, it just winds the breadth of the stories that we can tell. So who exactly are these two children? These are kids of East Anglia. They are going through tough times um, with whatever Rude has been doing to the territory. And so they're well, just if you're talking about us, Joe and, and Dave, and we are just uh, enjoying the show and, and listening to what they're telling about the game. Because we're really it's kind of nice hyped. to see that Eivor wasn't really necessarily upset at them for stealing. And, you know, after you talk to them, you have the choice of helping them. You can, you know, give them food, give them some money, um, or, you know, maybe just say, hey, good luck. Anyway. Yeah. All right, Jeff Beard, thank you. We also wanted to do a lot. Like, so here we're doing an event, we do it in quests as well. But we want to do, we want to give a lot of this agency into players' hands so that they can sort of shape Eivor a little bit. Um, uh, who she is, so it represents them a little bit more, and they can role play that a little bit uh, better. And again, it just gives her like a little bit more humanity in these in these moments. Here, have some food. Provide for small walkers. Nope, it's mine. Think fast. <laughs> yeah. Here, large walker. A necklace. Yes, it's a Saint Martin seal. 
You're welcome here anytime, Large Walker. You're one of us now. Visit us, okay? I will. Take care now, small green walkers. So I think oh, AC Ashanti. veterans might recognize yeah, this here, but uh, it. what oh, exactly nice. is Eivor chasing down? Ashanti. Yeah, so here you're seeing Eivor um, running down one of our tattoo uh, images. So this is challenging the player on free run abilities, but also for fans of the series, sort of pulling at their heartstrings for some beloved features. <laughs> so are we going to be able to tattoo Eivor? Yes, by collecting oh. these tattoos, you actually bring them to, back to your settlement, and then you can customize different body parts, having different tattoos everywhere. So again, oh. another form of expression, and it's sort of to represent that Vulc that Viking culture. Says one of my favorite we're watching things this, I was just bro. out there exploring East Anglia was coming upon Those a house stars. or a building. After this, we can play a game inside, with all, but that with all no of us, but way in. And in this we case, will join you guys, but all the right now, barred, but I knew that because there was a chest in there, there must have been it's only, uh, to get inside. Oh, uh, so you I went around the back. Seriously, and, Tim? Found a Seriously? Yeah, wow. Thank that. you, Tim, for taking that, that sip, finally. Awesome, dude. <laughs> We wanted the wow. exploration to make you feel smart. I don't know, so sis. We, we played a lot with puzzle solving. I think it's so uh, making sure that every house 11 that you or find something. I don't know. Appeals to you, like it draws your attention, and then when you want to come and explore. It, wow, it's not, Tim, I'm so it's proud of you. Thank you, you, dude. You have to work for Thank a you. little bit, so it'll challenge you on your observation skills, um, logic. Just trying to find yes, how do I get indeed. into this. Yes, indeed. Through freaking with, uh, everything. Just design, throw it in. Quest design to offer challenges yeah, to players. Yeah, Michelle, it means something else. You basically come out of it like with a better feeling for the exploration, but you also get to see more of a story behind any of these locations which we've crafted. So it, it gave us a little bit more time to sort of slow down the experience and, and mm -hmm. tell a different version of a story. Here, Tim, even Bay came in to throw some Stroop waffles your way, boy. Yeah, I mean, speaking about exploration and just finding things out in the mm, world, party. I was just wandering and came across this clearing and found this kind of morbid altar. Ugh. Yeah, so this is this is one of our bigger events that we we have um, scattered in the world. So as Eivor explores, um, she can find um, altars like this, and by interacting with them, here it's a trap that's been set um, for by by this character named Regan. Um, now there's a bigger story behind all this. It, it, there's multiple steps to it later on. Um, so this this is one of the moments. Uh, it, it, it permits us to go into a slightly more mystical realm and play with a boss fight that has more magical abilities, if we will. And, and oh basically have this awesome boss fight Where's in the, the middle of the swamps. Whoa. And so here the abilities that you see uh, Yeah, she was drugged, using, so it's like, probably hallucinating. a little bit on yeah. the mystical side of things. What's happening is Eivor at the beginning of that trap is poisoned. And so she <laughs> starts sort of hallucinating, seeing the world in a sort of different uh, light and filter. Um, and so that that's sort of what lets us go into this, this the, the realm of the weird. My rage, spirit of my father's rage, fill me! Hey, Blaze. What's up, dude? How are you doing? <laughs> That's a nice one, Dave. Bob. Wow. So we just saw here that Regan belongs to something called the Daughters of Lyria. Yeah, that's correct. By finding the other daughters, you'll get a little bit more backstory on who they are, so we don't want to spoil that too much. But it creates like a, a sort of greater story that is not on the main path in any way, but it, it's still very rich and adds to the lore of this world and actually plays into history. So we just had a really exciting, really intense boss battle. I think it's time for something a little bit more relaxing and calming now. Yeah, it's all here. It's all about yeah, but that's the point, Gambin. The highs and the lows. So here we have a low oh, chill wow. moment of what we call building a cairn. So Eivor, as she explores the world, will find these sort of meditative areas where 
you have a, a pile of rocks that you could just stack on one and, uh, on top of another using oh, physics. Yeah. And like, uh, I mean, yeah, the, the ultimate goal is to try and get the name. highest pile of rocks. But really, it's about taking in the sights. Um, yeah, that's what they did. Taking a step it, back I think. Yeah. and, and build, just building something. Together we stack stones into cairns. Cairns. Yes. Think of this as a test Learned of it, mind and for. Stack the cairn stones high and wide into any shape you like. I mean, you can spend as much time as you want building these things, making them as high as you want, as weird as you want. I I'm sure, like, a lot of these stuff will end up on the internet, like people comparing structures. And the cool thing is that once you've built it and you decide to get out of it, it sort of stays there. And so that's yours, right? And until the moment where you come back and you want to build a new one, it's, it's sort of cool that we were able to to give that to players to express themselves. At this point in the demo, we've nice. explored East Anglia, we've met some children, we've broken into a house, we've fought a boss, we've built a Karen. I think now it's finally time to go and head off to Oswald's wedding. Yeah, so this is, this is the <laughs> moment it's all funny. going up to. Um, yeah, by the moment you get into the territory, it's sort of like... kind of makes me think of Far Cry 5. Trying to, with the flowers uh, and everything. Get married I don't with know. his Dane well, lady. And so as you go through the arc, um, that's sort of like the underlying thread. Really, it's about Ruid creating turmoil in the uh, territory and helping Oswald sort of um, get above that and, and show that he's a good leader. And so you finally, after going through all of that arc, uh, finally get these two together, go through their their, we their wedding, and you're invited to attend the ceremony. Um, and then all the uh, activities and fun times that comes afterwards. Yeah, as much as we've seen the brutal side of England, we it's nice to see you know the joyous side of it as well. Yeah, and it's something we really wanted to, to play on in, in Valhalla, where being a Viking is not only about being a raider or a warrior. I mean, there's revelry, there's feasting, there's partying that goes, and like if, if someone knows how to party, it's a Viking. Hmm. And so here, this is one of our opportunities to sort of show that, to show what a a sort of Viking gathering yeah, is, yeah, and sure. what's cool here is it's a it's a good alliance of Norse culture with Saxon culture, sort of smashing yeah. those two things together um, and building bridges. Yeah, I mean, what's a wedding without some drunk? Oh, pressure, nice right? drunk. Uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, so like, anything can happen in a in a Viking event, right? Eivor, yeah, here here, just get drunk and sh shoot some arrows. Ah, oh, barely a challenge. Steady all, and ready yourself for the wedding race. The king and his bride against all. My king. He... Uh oh. <laughs> so uh. here we see the decision I made to spare Ruid came back to bite us. He came back in ass. Yep, that, that's the decision you made uh, coming back. Um, so uh, as we said before, all of your decisions have consequences, and uh, this good, is a big one. Know. Don't I, I now. challenge you. I accept. Uh oh. You're basically presented with the option to sort of step in for Oswald, Oswald fight the fight for him, yeah, I don't think or let him go and fight his own fight. Yeah, you know, personally, I chose to fight myself because I, I thought Eivor is the type of person who likes to finish what she started. Plank by plank. And a dead king cannot keep his oaths. Let me finish this. Oswald, you gutless Arius swine! I'll slay the wolf kissed, then hang you with your own tongue. How does this encounter with Ruid differ from our previous fight with him? Uh, so at this point, you've eliminated his wolf, so it's just him. And so he he's angry at this point, and so he will start using his his big gun abilities like fairly earlier on in the fight um so it's way more vicious way faster um there's less strategy he goes literally swords blazing at you um all these people are so th this is a fight to close. The death. yeah that's a huge sword Oof. that's a lot of damage yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, he's very angry. Every attack he pushes And of course you away. here, like, this is a decision you made to go and fight him, but there's multiple outcomes to this scenario. You could have let uh, Oswald fight his own fight um, and prove basically his station as, as the rightful leader. Um, if you had eliminated Ruid, obviously this would not have happened. It would have been a slightly more joyous occasion. Um, but ultimately, in all scenarios, you still have an alliance with Oswald. He's proven to be um, the right leader for this territory um, and to be a good ally for you. I promised you an alliance, and now you have it. And one day I will need you to make good on that alliance. So we're about to take off from the wedding, but Eivor decides it's a good idea to check up on her friend Finner. Yeah, so Finner, Finner is probably one of the more recurring characters in, in this arc. You get to meet him very on. He's a very endearing character, um, sort of used to have a Viking life, sort of misses it, and going through all these adventures together is sort of like... A, lights that fire back a cool beard. and so he's, yeah, he's willing indeed. to join you in your raiders um so he's one of many raiders that you'll you'll encounter in the game and you can sort of recruit bring back home and then have them sort of join you on your adventures on the on long ship he can tell you these stories that we're telling you about you get a little bit to know a little bit more about him um so again it's a fun way to sort of discover more about these characters that you meet and bring him along for adventures together together I'll gather my things. Well, folks, we've come to the end of our Assassin's Creed Valhalla playthrough. Fizz, thank you so much for joining oh, us. Wow. When and where can people Look play at this? It? Assassin's Creed Valhalla will be out on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 and is coming to Xbox One, PlayStation nice. 4, PC, and Stadia the camera on turns November 17th. To the other side. Yeah. <laughs> Next gen, you know? It's going to... <laughs> Did they say the previous gen too or not? Yeah. Wow. This is hyperscape again? Yeah. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. My name is Eric Pope. I'm the senior community developer on Hyperscape. And I'm Graham Janet. Do you I'm think the they will show more Far Cry stuff? Hyperscape's now in its open beta. Not sure, so maybe. Let's we'll stick around for it. it but yeah. So I'm gonna go a to the back. We we'll recorded a match for right. you so we could walk through it moment to moment, explain what's going on throughout a match of Hyperscape. There's a lot going on with hacks, guns, the gameplay. So Graham and I are gonna walk you through it right now, and I hope you'll enjoy. So the start now, you'll see the insertion phase. Uh, there's the three of them in the squad, so they're trying to decide on where they want to go. It looks like Helios, which is one of the landmarks, is going to be one of the choices. So all the places we're seeing on the map right now with like a name above it, that tends to be a, a higher loot area, would you say? For one of the, the big yellow little ones like this one, this is one of the landmarks. Landmarks tend to have a higher density and higher quality loot overall. Which also means most people will be going there, so you might have usually have a few more friends uh, if you go to a landmark. <laughs> so in this case though, he's gone outside and he's found a supply crate. So he's starting to loot these instead. Whoa. So he's looking for both hacks and weapons. Right, so the looting phase, uh, many folks will be familiar with, but in Hyperscape, you do have those supply crates that you're, you may be lucky enough to find. And what's the, deal, what's the deal with supply crates? So supply crates are placed around the world. So you'll hear them and then you can go and find them. And then inside them, you'll find uh, weapons and hacks. Usually, uh, you find slightly better uh, weapons and hacks within them. Here now, hmm. we've switched, so we're looking at Chimera instead. Uh, so he's in the landmark, he's in Helios now, and he's still in the looting phase. But as okay. you can see from the red triangle up there, there's actually some friends, or not friends, in there with him just now. Yeah, so the action gets uh, started, okay, right here. Yeah, so he's one on one, he's going with the what? mammoth shotgun uh, against someone oh, who's wow. using the heal hack at the minute, which is the, the red stuff that you can see. So that player's taking extra health at that point. Which looks like it helped him uh, hold his ground against that mammoth. And I believe it helped him survive at that point. There seems to be a few other players in here just now, so the combat's That's started, crazy. The nation's got his first kill. Oh boy. <laughs> Tim found the emojis. <laughs> well, I'm glad so, uh, you're finally able to use him, buddy. Yes. Yeah. So, so he just uh, 
He's been eliminated and he's turned into an Echo now. So he's going to wait for his friends um, to bring him back. So he's going to go to one of these restore points, which are basically places where someone else from another squad has been eliminated. Oh, you he's like this, Michel? I'm not so sure yet. I mean, so the action it looks good, stops. yes, but you're I'm not so much a fan of Battle Royale games, to be honest. Uh, with someone else. You, you're still playing, you can inform your squad as to what's going on, and then you can call to be restored at one of those points. There's plenty of people, like you said, who ended up at Helios at the end. There's yeah. at least three <laughs> other squads. Yeah, I'm also not we can so also big see when you have a teammate who needs a revive. It's well, Tim is also not allowed yeah, to spam, but he just, side is him, uh, after watching for half a year, busy, uh, has access to the emojis. Uh, which will so. cause more revive points to appear as well. This guy's low on health, so I don't think he's going to last long. Yeah. So I see once someone's eliminated, All right. you drop a revive point that you can use. What you'll actually see at the moment now is both Chimera and the Ah, okay, Michelle. Well, so it's just Mr. Gomi by okay. himself at present time. So I'm gonna let it pass. Yeah, yeah, it looks better at Fortnite. So. I'm gonna take a Wii as well. Going again. Right. We're back. We're still, there's still a few other players in here, that's for sure. So that was the slam hack he used there. So basically he projected himself up in the air. He landed, he dealt some damage, and he's managed to eliminate the yeah, other player. Yeah, he got the elimination with it, which is pretty good. And then he's starting to bring back uh, Chimera at this point. So he's now back into the game. Right. So he's got to reloot and find new weapons again, because when you are eliminated, you go back to just your melee weapon. OK, so you don't hold on to your gear when you, when you get eliminated. No. So this is the start of the K you can see. So you see all these blue triangles that are appearing. This is how we basically do, you know, map size uh, reduction and zone reduction to bring players towards a smaller map into the center. So instead of having a, you know, a circle that shrinks, we've decided to actually dissolve the map. And is it kind of the same? Will you always know which which uh, districts are decaying first? You can see from the uh, from the map when you bring it up what's going, and you'll also see the icon when he turned on the left hand side of the screen a second ago, which shows you where the safe area to go is. So at the top, it will show you sector is closing, and then you've got the little icon of the person running with a distance against it that tells you where to go to the next safe place. So I see Mr. Gummy has pinged that spot to sort of regroup outside of the uh, land. We're going to take some uh, height as well to start to be able to look for other players and to keep themselves a little bit safe. So he's seen another player, so he's starting to throw salvos at him and probably the guy breaks up too. Yeah. You see the red uh, exclamation marks? That's basically his teammates pinging and saying, hey, there's an enemy over here. And he's been shot out from behind, so there's def definitely players around. You'll see him going to go high again to try and take some positional advantage. Um, to get out because he knows he knows there's another team on the roof up there. He doesn't want to be below them, especially not with a salvo grenade. Well, what I'm noticing is that they're doing a good job of switching from street level to the the, the rooftops. Is that kind of a good way to approach a, a game of Viperscape to not just stay in one area? You should really use the variety between streets, interiors, and rooftop for navigation and to keep yourself safe. Rooftops are great to see what's going on, but you're also then a target for the snipe. So you really need to adjust uh, height uh, and interior exterior as you go, just to keep yourself safe. And to aggressively loot too to find the best stuff. So he just picked up a golden skybreaker. What is the gold mean? That is the top tier of skybreaker. So basically, you can have a level five skybreaker, which is what he just picked up. We will fusion weapons together. So if you have a skybreaker and you find another skybreaker, it will go to level two. Find another one, it will go to level three. And what he has now, as you can see in the bottom uh, bar there with the yellow, he has the top tier of the skybreaker, so this does more damage. So you, you, each time you fusion something, a weapon or a hat, it will go up in various different um, abilities. So you're basically, just, just to loot up, to fuse up, you just need to find a duplicate of your weapon or hat. Yeah. So you'll see though on the left, uh, when you see the other players' names, you can see that uh, Mr. Gomi has two uh, yellow weapons and a yellow hack. So he has two fully fused weapons and one fully fused hack. Oh How does healing God. work? So healing will either work by I took damage and then I retreated and your health bar will come back up. Or if a player has a heal hack, which he actually does at present time, so you see that in the bottom it says heal, he can throw that on the ground and then there'll be an uh, No, Daniel, so you Ubisoft luckily is you. not from Microsoft or owned by Microsoft. And, and indeed, like Chef Dave team, says, it's a French company, but they are now placed all over the world. They have very big um, 
how do you say that? Um, so you see them now they stand to hunt again. I guess I've heard some other divisions in uh, in Can Canada. In the they're the based in a French company. And there's a ping for an enemy. So yeah, the combat started. All over the world, actually. So this guy yeah, but they are from, the from origins. Uh, they're a French uh, company, the but now they're based all over the world. Not in the best spot. With the, with uh, the and yeah, a lot the of division, the best divisions in Canada, 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 and. Sweden. Sweden. You know, ma a piece of mass. So he managed to fusion uh, one of ma 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 the So here you'll see the decay Division. started. The player found himself out in the decay as it was starting. He had no cover left. So you find yourself out in the open and the. Uh, oh, he is uh, from uh, Xbox. So I don't know. Maybe some promotion for the Xbox platform uh, for the games. I don't know. Which talking about? Be, uh, on a roll at this point. Why did the Microsoft guy drop in if they are not related? Because he was talking about the. The Xbox. New ray Still traced effects, sure you know, no the, the best so graphics, you know, you that you get the new uh, Xbox. That's for the promoting. So there's still five teams left. Ah, yeah. That's why he was there, of course. Ah, okay. And we'll nice. Back to Mr. Gorman, he's still, uh, rolling Jealousy, yeah, yeah, mostly that, Dave, indeed. <laughs> Jealousy. <laughs> case starting to happen in this region. And they are related, I mean, they're starting selling the game on the console, you know. They have a nice variety of weapons between them. You know, there's the someone's got a salvo, there's a guy there, there's a ripper. They really split in terms of hacks and weapons, so they have a nice diverse uh, selection in terms of games. So you see him go up high now, he's probably going to use the Skybreaker. And he has, and that's the end for uh, Takeshi uh, Kazuya. Takeshi Casually, so now you mentioned that username. You'll notice if you've been watching the, the feed, uh, the usernames all seem pretty similar in this match. What's, what's the story with that? So this is the feature we call streamer protection. So uh, it allows you to anonymize who's in the game. So this is what you can see now. This poor player has managed to find themselves in the corner and tried to hide. Unfortunately, they've been chased in there by someone with a, a fully fused salvo. So uh, that, that was kind of the end for them. Dangerous. So they've swapped now and they've gone to uh, the Mammoth and stuff. So they've swapped out the shotgun. So it's quick to change your playstyle. You can usually find another weapon you like and you can adjust based on map size, how many players are left, and continuously adjust. And that countdown that just finished was a health kit event. What, what does that mean? What are these events that are So basically in the top right now, you'll see the cross and it's kind of ticking down. So this is said that this is the time left for the health kit event. Basically, every match, uh, there will be cards played, which change what happens in the match. So this was the health kit event. There's things like low gravity two, which project up in the air and you can jump over. And are these just random or are, are players triggering these events somehow? So there's two different ways yeah, this happens. So it looks really match, annoying with all those triangles. In this case. Yeah, it's the map is all thing. In the game, so you need to move out of this area because it's going to be to gone. So the warning oh, zone, that's why. Oh, all right. So you need to and leave this area. Whichever gets the highest number of votes. It's, you know, in Battle Royale, you know, every, so you every time it gets smaller, you know, the map. Yeah, yeah. Instead of making like a force field around it or, you know, just a shield area, just dissolve it. So it's a bit different. So here uh, you see that, that you got caught in the decay then and fell through the building, so trying to move back in. There's, there's only three teams left now, so we're starting to get towards a smaller map size. So Wait, it's, it's teams? Kind of chaotic shortly. Yeah, it's teams. And they're teams. just on the edge of this Oh, landmark. so it's better. It's teams better royale. Of Red Tiger, so they're heading up. Yeah. Here you'll see the I thought it was 1v1. So basically we have a crown. Fortnite, that can be fun. Fortnite also has teams. You don't know anything about the bell hell. No, Most games I, have a uh, team based. The only based, downside uh, to that is once you pick real. up the crown, it's oh. just like the bar zone, you, you know? Everyone's gonna chip. Yeah, yeah, Probably. okay, yeah. So but yeah, they also have the same, if you die, countdown is on. you can as as if you you were become like a ghost. It would drop you can just walk around and if you yeah, find like a, a dead body of another player, you can ask your fans to revive you to that body. And that's only one of the two ways body of another player. Win a match oh, that's cool. Escape, right? Yeah, you can win via the crown if you want to take it and maneuver. This is why you'll see the really high up uh, to own, own the higher space. Or you can eliminate all the other teams. You could sneak around and, and grab that crown and survive. Left to stop the crown wheel. If you use your hacks well and you use your movement and uh, hide a lot, then yeah, you could possibly grab the crown, get to the end, and then win via a crown victory. Wow. It's so weird how he it just is. hits that person. A screen I'll never see. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, well, that was just one match of the frenetic fast-paced game. Hyperscape that we are both very lucky to work on. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching UB Forward in this post-show. As we mentioned before, the game's available right now in open beta on PC. Just go to Uplay to download it. 
And we're also thrilled to be taking part in the Twitch Rivals event with the information appearing magically on the screen below us. So, Graham, thank you for your time. Thank you, Eric. Have a good day. And we'll see you in the hyperscape. All right, buddy. Bye. What? Stream up's not working? It should be. I turned the alerts back on. Turned them off before because you guys were making too much noise. During the most interesting part. Thank you for watching. Does this mean the whole thing is done? Yeah, it's done. I thought it was till 11. Third time. Didn't this show like... No, I mean hour 11. Hmm. I mean, the last time... It, it, it also showed that it was starting earlier. And it didn't start yet. I don't remember. remember. Hmm. All right. Well, then we um, can do a few things. I think um, I am going to. Uh, so if you go to our Discord server right now, guys, everybody who is in the chat. Yeah, I'm also going to do a giveaway indeed. But wait, what? Why is it? Oh. Why is it not posting it? What's this? What the frevio? What's with this? Thank you for watching. That's just a black screen. It's going on. All right. Well, somehow it's not working. But if you guys. What? <clears throat> they have gameplay of Watch Dogs, like from individual uh, channels. Nice. <coughs> if you guys join our Discord server, if you haven't done it yet, I will do the giveaway right now, and then I think I'm going to join into the Scriblio thing that people are doing in there. So if you want to join that too, it's a free free game. The little website thingy. And it's like little Pictionary. It's quite fun. So if you guys want to join that, um, go ahead. Oh, it's done indeed. Okay. Um, the thing is, though, I don't know if the giveaway is going to work since Streamlabs just kind of broke out of it. Um, and I'm going to try. I'm going to see if it's work. If it will work. And if it doesn't, you guys will, um, how do you say that? Get a rain check on that, I guess. <laughs> Uh, back. Custom. Add giveaway. Like, what's this one? Edit. Yeah, giveaway for subs. Here we go. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to start. It's going to be five minutes. Make, uh, make sure you guys... Um, wait a second. Let me drop this out of here so I can keep track of everybody who is in here. All right. We're going to try if this works, guys. Um, you guys can... Uh, you must be a follower. Yeah, that means you're a subscriber. Everyone can join. Okay. So, set a prize. Game. Okay, here we go. Fuck that. I'm gonna start it, guys, and you guys have to type exclamation mark raffle to join the, the, the thingy. Let's go. Here we go. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Uh... Nothing's happening in chat yes, yet. Oh my god. Come on, dude. You moan. Let's put some music in here. But I'm afraid it's not working, guys. Damn it. Fucking Streamlabs is freaking me over more often than not. Re. This sucks ass, guys. I'm so sorry. Fapsi, you suck! Yeah, indeed. I suck. Now... Somehow Streamlabs is not working and I've started the giveaway, but it's not pulling through to pulling through to chat so they can't do the giveaway thing. Okay. 
That's stupid. Need to wait? You're the worst captain ever! Hey, it's not my problem, dude. It's, it's not, I mean... Was that taken from of Thieves? Yeah. <laughs> you haven't heard those, of course, I because know, I you... I recognize the, yeah. the tone. The other ones are as well. Um, turn it off and on. Yeah, I can try that, but it's probably or not going to work. It, you know. Yeah, cancel it. Confirm. Turn it on again. And start the giveaway again. Yeah, me too, X. And I feel sorry for you guys because I promised a giveaway and then this fucking shit's not working. Kinda lame. I hate that. Oh, there we go. It started. Yes, it worked. <laughs> All right, guys. Make sure you uh, type like exclamation mark raffle. And uh, yeah, you are booster. <laughs> Your name should pop up on the left side if you get a ticket. I hope Streamlabs can keep up. Mm, I'm doubting it. Let's put on some music here, guys. No, not getting tickets, I know, that's really weird. Why does this always happen? Yeah, I guess so, Chef Beard. Well, son of a bitch. Gonna, okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. Subs are members? No, they're not. Uh, no. Subs are followers. Here, um, everyone can join, but everybody has to be a subscriber, that's a follower. Otherwise, I can put it to subscribers only, but that means members because of Twitch and their really convenient way of uh, thingy. I'm gonna try it one more time, and if it doesn't work, I am gonna have to give you guys a rain check on this. Stupid enough. Stupid. Stupid, stupid. Turn it back on, okay, and start it one more time. Here we go. Let's see. Well, yeah. just reading stuff. You're also not getting any bottle caps. Oh my god. Oh, it's working. Somehow. Nice. Okay, here we go. Cue the music again. Four and a half minutes, guys. Come on. And after this, I will uh, join in uh, with the Scriblio guys to have some more fun. Just a little uh, stupid fun. Play a few rounds and then we will end the stream, I guess. What do you think of that? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll change my uh, Discord server settings. Oh, it's already right. Okay. Boom, boom, boom.
Yeah, guys, Kim and Bingo Drum and make your own lottery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to smack the like button as well, guys. Alright, Booster. Welcome back, dude. Bam. Oh, that looks massive. Yeah, probably is. Jesus. How big it is. <laughs> Holy shit! That's so long! <laughs> wow. Jesus. We need to have an external uh, housing for that thing. Yeah. <laughs> need to buy a new case for it. Yeah. Jesus. This one. Come on, guys. One minute, thirty seconds. Are you gonna have some vacation from work now? Axin asks. Um, nobody. I will um, have vacation after the coming week. Then I will have a midweek uh, vacation where I'll be gone with friends. And um, huh? yeah, and Bay, of course. But that's implied. I thought. Um, <laughs> and um, so that week there won't be any streams, sadly. But after that, we will be right back and we will go strong. Yeah, bro. All right. 19 seconds. 18, guys. Come on. Anybody want to join in? Do it now. I'm going to pick a winner. Scam. Three, two, one. Boom. And trees are closed, guys. Chef Dave, are you just too late? Are you kidding me? Oh no, you got one. You got one. <laughs> you're in. You're in, Chef Dave. You're just in time. Just. Just in time. Yeah, or before I go, Axin, we need to talk about that, buddy. So, um, let's uh, do this. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Picking a winner. Okay. If you have one, you need to uh, say something in chat. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bam. Chef Beard has won. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Booster is always on cue. <laughs> I love you, Booster. <laughs> All right. And he has said something. All right. Good, good, good. Good, good gonna take a while before it comes through i think if you say say something say something come on chef beard chef beard has left the building ah here we go woohoo nice dude noise uh, dm me on discord so uh we can uh, get things done and uh that's it guys for today or the at least for uh for the giveaway right now i'm gonna play some scriblio with you guys or at least the couch potatoes will join you guys so um, let's uh, let's see if you guys can guess what we are drawing. But before we do that, I of course need to make sure that you guys can see what we're drawing. So I'm gonna have to like draw a little box over that or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Doesn't really matter. So any everybody who isn't uh, who is who hasn't joined our Discord server yet, I'm gonna try once again to drop the link through the stream deck. It ah, it doesn't want to. 
It's being a little bee. Okay, I'll drop the link one more time. Here we go. Bam, bam. And from there, you can join the voice channel if you want to. And you are going to be on stream, so be sure to uh, be cool. And um, I'm uh, gonna play with you guys. So I'm gonna switch over to there now. <laughs> Got him. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 You're all live on the stream right now, guys. Hi. Oh, hi. hi. <laughs> We're gonna play with you guys if you don't mind. Sure. 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 Whoa, I received it... oh never mind. <laughs> I read I received one ticket. I thought I won. Sad. So uh, too bad. <laughs> too bad, sis. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Put this up a bit. Are you gonna play during stream? Yeah. That was the plan. Okay. I'm sorry viewers for my bad drawing skills. Oh, they can't see it yet. Okay, good. <laughs> no, we are not open yet. Somehow the audio is very low. Do you know how to fix that sneaky? Right now. Everybody? You can click on the back and do more. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's open the game. Oh, somebody dropped out. <laughs> oh my god. You're dead. I really can't. Wait. What is this? Yeah. This is Scriblio, it's like Pictionary. Oh, this. Oh my god, I love it. You had to guess what it is, right? Yeah. An octopus, right? Shh. Shh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Never played it, you know? Shoot. There we go. Who is Cater? Yeah, who would that be? <laughs> is that is that Axin laughing in your background again, Kelson? Yes. <laughs> It's so soft. You do it from uh, the windows uh, there, right there. Yeah, but then our voices are getting very loud as well. And I don't like. It. Is that the case? Okay, bye, I don't so know. I don't know how it works. Oh, it goes further right, maybe further. Oh wait, maybe further. Yeah, there. Ah, uh, here it is. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> there it is. All right. That's yeah, some we weird thing Discord does. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh shoot, we have to go. <laughs> Maybe put your put your um thingy over the word. Your uh webcam. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Just a member goal, guys. Okay. Uh, I missed the word. Oh man. <laughs> was it this one? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. dang it. I I Sorry guys, I was I was not paying attention yet. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, Michelle, come on, you can do this. You are the best one in this game. I've seen it before. Is Dave coming back or not? Because he was just here. But his oh wait, his computer crashed or something. It did. Yeah, Oof. well, his screen went black. That's what oh, saying. that's not good. No. <laughs> is what is Axon doing, Kelson? I think he's playing Goat Simulator. <laughs> oh, that game is funny. That's funny. What the froyo? <laughs> hey, Pepper, you're still here. You were so quiet. I know. Why aren't you playing along, Patrick? Oh, you are. Yeah, Never I mind. Know. Just kidding. I don't know. This what is this? Japanese flag. Yeah, that's what yeah, I Yeah, that's the first part. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got oh, it. Yeah. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, yeah now I get it. Get it. You're good. <laughs> yeah, we are. Douche. <laughs> 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 whoop whoop. Oh. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, okay, that was good. That was Once good. you get it, it's pretty it's pretty obvious, but yeah. yeah. Don't forget to look at the letters, guys. Don't forget it. I was just telling the others, we're so, I'm, I'm so happy that we started this game without you, otherwise you would have put, like, those Thurston words in it again. <laughs> yeah, might have. I'm back. Hey. Hi! I don't know what happened, I think you hacked my computer. <laughs> Always. I was, I was watching your giveaway. And uh, I wanted to mute you so I can talk to the girls after the giveaway. And all of my screens just gone blank black. Oh, and wow. It's, it's just gone. Oh. Okay. I just wrote something and it's good. <laughs> it was the right answer. And I was like, oh, it doesn't even fit. But apparently it did. Hmm, that's what she said. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got thrown off with all the things in the glass. Yeah. Since when do you have yellow wine? <laughs> Dude, probably. There's, there's blue wine. So they probably have yellow wine. I'm sorry to disappoint you, chef. Do you have uh, blue nun in uh, the Netherlands? No idea. Do we, sir? What do we have? Blue yeah. Nun. Doesn't see it, doesn't sound familiar. <laughs> oh, uh, this? <laughs> I guess, maybe. What is that? We have do something that looks like it, maybe? I don't know. Do we also yeah, have yeah, yeah, we should. Oh my god. <laughs> Your brain doesn't work. How do I? You're spelling it wrong. Oh, ah. the wrong one, yeah. Oh! Yeah. So wrong. Yes! Motherfucker! <laughs> Why do I, I have to put that. those things in there? Because it says. It says it looks. Yeah. <laughs> I really specific. thought it was with a J. Yeah, in Dutch it is. <laughs> ah, that's it. Ah, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> so yeah, blue and on. Okay, I can Is it like a like a blue uh, sweet it's, drink? It, no, it, it's it's champagne. Yeah, of course you can champagne. joke it in here. Oh, champagne. Okay. It's, it's yellow probably. With the uh, golden flakes in it. Golden oh, flakes. Yeah, okay. Oh. Shake it. It's like um you know the snowball? Like um you know the glass ball, like, if you shake it, it's nice. Ah, yeah, okay. Never mind. But yeah, Joe, just get in here. In the Discord is the link, Darcy posted it to the... To the, um... I forgot what you call dance. it? It's okay, we got it, we got it. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm worse than before, because I am doing it on my laptop now. Oh my god. Even worse? Oh. Even worse? Wait, how do you make that? Oh, thank oh. you. Oh. It's not possible. We had it. Oh, yeah, I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. So <laughs> oh, I don't know okay. Time. It's fine. I didn't look, look at all like it. So. What did you say, Patrick? Is that a potato? That's SpongeBob. <laughs> a potato? Like, a pretty good SpongeBob, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like guess it. It was more like a potato. <laughs> well, okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Patrick, <laughs> you wish. <laughs> I just like it. What's mud? I don't know. <laughs> That's just mud, like m mother talk, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Ah. Uh, ah. There we go. Ah. Got it. Ah. I was about to say the first one was pretty clear. 
Oh nice, Chad's participating too. Nice. Oh, cool. Hi Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Chef. Let's see how good you are at drawing. Yeah, yeah, Chef. I'm shit at drawing. Well it's a good thing you're a chef then and not a painter or a drawer. <laughs> Ocean floor, damn the midnight skyscraper. Jeez, you guys are uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. Thurston, you should know this. Hmm. Oh. What? Um, what is this? Yes! Oh, someone... oh! oh, come on. Ow. What is yeah! this? Ah. Oh. Ah, okay. You should know this first, then. I got it, I got it. There we go, good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Thunder, it's a big word. Fuck it's thunder cloud. It's thunder something. <laughs> ah. Yes! <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> hey, someone else joined. Who was yeah. Gambin, he is also in Discord. Oh, hi, Gambin. Welcome. Who's that? Oh, let's see. What words can Thurston choose? <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Oh, you can. Could... Yeah. Okay. I'm not doing that. That's not fun. But you can see what uh, what they're gonna choose. But I did see this one. Wait. <laughs> yeah, me as well. so Cheaters! Cheaters! But did they see it? Yeah. <laughs> Where? <laughs> He's in the way. Oh I yeah, just, it was in the middle. Chat. Yeah. Um. I just I just want to check chat. You're so good at drawing. Thank you. I'm doing it with my mouse now as well, so it's really hard. Is it better than a, 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 like the laptop keypad? Or... No. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, a drawing sand. pad laying around here. But... Yeah, it, this is sand on the beach. It's easy, bro. Everybody guessed it. Yeah, you should well, have known. <laughs> 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 I know, Darcy. That's, that's why playing it to make him feel bad. <laughs> oh, I'm so surprised that Tim became a member finally. Me what too. the froyo? <laughs> I think he could do it all along, but he just wanted to make a special entrance or something. Maybe, maybe. What? If you know it's sneak, you need to uh need to whisper it in my ear. Oh, I think this is some three D stuff. That's nice. Yeah, this is this is what we call perspective, sis. This is how you draw a piano. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. But Michelle can draw. We can yeah, she can actually. It's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> is that a joint? Yeah. Coronation Street. I got it. <laughs> oh. I'm just that good. Ooh, that's Dutch. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the Dutch flag. What is it? L. That's that. <laughs> no! I get it. <laughs> 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 Coffee shop. That's a nice one. It was perfect. Oh, yeah. That was good. Yeah, yeah it was. Really I like that one. Yeah, <laughs> really creative. I couldn't mm. guess it, but that was really good. Again, that was us, not you. It's okay. <laughs> Which was definitely me. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Oh crap! <laughs> wow, did everybody I, guessed. Where did I put the tablet? <laughs> Come on, Kelly. Uh, tablet? I don't think 
Yeah, my drawing took. Do you have a dragon? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, are we? What? Did I? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> ah, here we go. Do you know what it is? Mm. It's sneaky there. Huh? Sneaky? sneaky? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah We're yeah. couch potatoing it right now. Oh. The Hi. Hello, sneaky. Hi. How Why am I the first one to guess it and I'm just dropping in lights? <laughs> no, you weren't. Mm -hmm. I was, I think. Yeah, I was. <laughs> so here we go. Now we have um, a little drawing tablet so Sneaky can draw as well. We can do it a little bit more multiplayer. Wow. Long time. Yeah, it's an old one, but it works. I really yeah. don't see it. Use the mouse with it too? Oh. Yeah, it's also a mouse. Oh, wow, I didn't see that. How the hell oh, yeah. did you see you that? You need to keep it closer. You can closer. put your... Uh... That's not a picture. Sure. Cool. Yeah. Oh, now we need to draw. Oh, no, we don't. He's got a special ability. Okay, so the background so is only black It's the mouse button, because... right? This one? Yeah, okay, but you can also okay, just okay. tap. Okay. Hi. The background is only black because I need to use white, so... Okay. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> ah, yeah, otherwise, yes. otherwise you're gonna think that the black also means something, but it doesn't in this case. Come what? on, Patrick. You got it. I don't understand it. <laughs> Why is it black and white or white dots? The white is white as? What? <laughs> what? Huh? Oh, yeah. How does that... How do you get snow? <laughs> because it's white. That. Well, they all did. I don't understand as soon as, as soon as she said about the colors. <laughs> Portuguese flag. <laughs> Irish. How, Thurston? What the? Told you he's hacking. Guys, you just said it. Well, Irish. <laughs> Maybe. No. This is the Italian. Where do they speak Irish? Come on, guys. It's not that hard. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great, Gambin. You're doing great. They're just not. What, um... what is, what is the flag of Italy? It's uh, red, white, and green. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Italy. Okay. Same as the Hungarian. Jessica. Hey, Jessica. How are you doing? Drop on in if you want to, Jessica. We're doing Scribblio with the gang. Link is in the Discord. Are you streaming it? Yes. You are? Yeah. Ooh, I better watch my mouth then. <laughs> it's fine, dude. <laughs> if I get demonetized for this stream, you can just uh, be sugar daddy again. <laughs> Shut up. Nice, we got it. Tracks, yes, Kelly. <laughs> it's it's not is it's not even booster drawing. Yes. She's actually quite good, uh, Joe. Yeah, she's great. Come on, Kelly. Come on, Kelly. Yes. <laughs> you need a cute, fluffy koala on it. Yeah. <laughs> or a panda. Oh, that's something for me. You're gonna love it, Kelly. <laughs> Food. <laughs> Sweet. No. Come on. <laughs> ah, dang it. Oh. Again. What? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wait. Oh. No, that's not her. That's another country. Oh, no, it's it's, it's no. the neighbors. Oh, God damn it. 
Freaking typo. There we go. <laughs> Is this the point where I'm going to admit that I did not know that was a Norwegian frail flag? You wanna do it? <laughs> I think I know what it is. Do you like each other, Kelly? Or not really? Oh, oh yeah, 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 I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know? Okay, know. here we go. Uh, yeah, oh, like hold on. Them. Sorry, guys. Yeah, oh, go. my God. Yeah, I hate it. Nice. Okay, okay let's do it. I hate it. Okay, no, okay, okay. Give me, give me, give me. Okay. Do it. You've got relatives all over the world. Yeah. <laughs> Hungary, Norway. Miss, Miss Kuchka. <laughs> Is Sneaky drawing now? No, he didn't get used to the tablet on time. Oh, okay. So he was. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh God! Who do you? How do you write that? <laughs> oh, <come here. laughs> how the hell do you write that? Well, is that a bad Is it? Uh. Oh boy. Yeah, stop, stop, you're ruining it. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a really cool one. <laughs> Look out, one, one wrong, wrong, I knew you! No! I was always just one, one wrong button press and you ruin it. Well, you... Come on, Barson! You can do it. You're so close. So close. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know how the hell. Oh my god, everyone knows what that is, but just, just <laughs> nobody can know how to spell it. <laughs> oh my god. The one, the one clinker, I don't know what the, what the, what the English word is, sis, but the one you didn't have yet, yeah. the you. <laughs> and the worst part, I was the one who said the word. <laughs> oh, well, you did good. Everybody did good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is drawing again? Oh, Michelle. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. Windows? No, Ubuntu. <laughs> that would be better. <laughs> What's the nipples? Hmm. <laughs> um. Oh. Ah. Ah, turn it. <coughs> yeah, but that doesn't fit. No. I'm... Oh yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> Giggity. <Giggity. laughs> what team? Everybody who argues that it is wrong is. No, it's. Yeah, they have never fine. seen the pending patent. It's absolutely fine. Oh man. It's on the wrong side. Oh my what? god! That's the no, motherfucker! No, 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 that's wrong. That's it's wrong. actually kind of right. There's no bath in that bathroom, okay? There's not a bathroom. <laughs> no. Uh, I do not accept that. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> do you know, no. Do you know what would Derby say? Deal with it. <laughs> I can tolerate a lot, but that mm, no, no, that's that's just wrong. I know, I know. Yes, <laughs> first. Uh, <laughs> I love how he just put like a little dot over there and then just like cleaned up just the inner side with white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's a good job. Kelly is wrong now. Here we go, guys. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what the hell? Uh, wait, this is <laughs> We're waiting. Okay, okay, it's red. Now it's red for some reason. And now it's yet now it's grey again. Rainbow? <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know. What? <laughs> Never mind the other stuff. I'm, I'm gonna call, I, I just pop out. I'm gonna call someone from the pharmacy to read that. <laughs> He's gonna use his phone call. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> what? Oh, I can't run. Oh. I think we should Why start taking. Green? We should start taking screenshots of these, find them, yeah. and, and start selling them. <laughs> yeah. We can take a screenshot anytime we want. What is yeah, this supposed to be, Kelly? Come on. Yeah, what is You're this? not I'm making crying. it clearer. I'm getting more confused. You cry. Ah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> what? Thank you, Michelle. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. He tries to actually write it correctly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea what he's done. I'm uh, making it worse. <laughs> a graffiti. Uh, Actually, the more you added, the more it made sense. And 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 what's the uh, thing on the bottom? Uh, it's a wall. What's a bridge? A bridge. A bridge. Right. A bridge. I like it. Okay. <laughs> I, okay. I will understand that. Is you know. Um, okay, you will never get this. These ages are. <laughs> oh, wait, I got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. God, I'm sissy. <laughs> Bathroom. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, what happened to this end? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Um. <laughs> Jesus Christ on a bicycle. Well, this is getting... Oh my god, she guessed it! Holy crap! <laughs> and then this opens. Okay, that's I don't know what that is, but that's a door. Yes, we got that. <laughs> he opens the door. One night stand. <laughs> oh my God! Are you kidding me? It's pretty good. You got Why it. is th what? No way! No. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! How, how do you make write that? How the hell did I get in third place after dropping in so late? Because <laughs> you're okay, fast. Yeah, sure. Yeah, me too. Let's go. Anybody wants to join, hop in the Discord again and uh, join us. Now I can't win because you guys are all here. You want to join me or not? Yeah, only because the rest joined later. <laughs> you won the last time, or sort of. Well, maybe a little. <laughs> because you beat me. You make that- Oh, I got it. Damn. What? <laughs> what yeah. from that? Yeah. God uh -huh. damn it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Don't write it. Don't write it wrong. Then the others can- Yeah, I'm trying, okay. <laughs> But this is this is a mature sign, okay? <laughs> sign mature. Got it? Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's a bad signature. Yeah. It looks like mine. It looks like anyone's. <laughs> Not mine. I have a really weird one. I have a star. You are a really weird one. Mm -hmm. That's nice, Patrick. I like that. Yeah, because I'm Patrick Star. That's why. <laughs> First. What? Oh, what you call it? Uh, a tongue. No. Hey Tim, what's everyone up to in chat? I don't know what everybody in chat is up to. But Jessica, you can still join the game without being in the voice chat if you want to play with us. I think Gambin is not in the voice chat either. Oh. Joe isn't either, or she's not talking. No, she's not a voice chat because she couldn't, she said. She asked if she could join without voice. I said, yeah, of course, get in here, girl. Of course, of course you can. And they can hear everything on Storeo, on Stroom. Why is Tim not joining? 
I don't know. At least he can play subsistence with us now. <laughs> right, Booster? <laughs> ah, now you beat me! <laughs> it's just, it's just smacking the N and the A. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> How? How does... What? Do you want to do it now? How How Good. does Dave get banana and I get gentleman? You can because you choose the right word. Yeah, well, the other ones were plug and something else I don't didn't know either. Um, I... I looked, so... What? What? Wow. What? How? I, she looked. I looked on the stream. Don't. Oh, oh no. Cheater. No, no. Close, to, close the stream. Don't look at it. That's cheating. No, we need the views. No. No, you don't. <laughs> are you watching the. Are you watching the stream? What don't the watch the stream. <laughs> oh my god. So late. Damn. We've been doing that. Oh long. my god. <laughs> Oh, server will be starting ah. in 60 seconds. Why? Son of a bitch. Why? Why is this happening? Okay, I need... To, I'm sorry, guys. I need to keep in mind that there is way shorter time than we had before. Oh, no. It's still 100. What? Yeah, it's still 100. Wow, that's I don't get crazy. It. it was very quick. It that's a lot of time. Yeah. It felt really quick. Because I answered the first. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why? Then the time goes down? Yeah, it goes faster than the first time. Oh. Person guesses right. Oh. And it goes faster. Why will the server restart? What is this? It goes to 30 <laughs> seconds then. <laughs> so happy about that's it. That's a better. That's how you how you draw a piano, sis. That is. You sure? Sorry, Darcy. It's okay. Yes. Damn it. Okay, 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 okay. Why did okay. I put in plural? Thurston won. Connection oh. lost. Uh, I'll make yeah, a new one. I'll make a new one. Oh hey, oh no 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 no. I don't I don't want random. I don't want randos. Oh, I'm in the random also. Oh, <laughs> random is alright. At least you don't have advantage. <laughs> <laughs> So, are you creating a cre uh... Okay, yeah. I have a room. Person? Person? No. Person? Oh, okay, then we join this on what? I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave? I'm gonna go home. Why, bro? No. I'm tired. No. I'm hungry. He is tired and hungry, guys. Well, give him some food. I don't have any. Some food. What do you mean no. you don't have any? Uh, we don't. We are, we are on a diet. <laughs> really? Well, we I I even don't have any bread for tomorrow morning, so yeah, what same here. To Neither. Um, nothing. Well, why is there no food? <laughs> She's always waiting. Here, Tim says, "Sneaky, no, don't leave me. I love you." That's that's Aww. what Tim says. I can't. I Aww. think we have everything. Everyone says. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll start. Please. And otherwise, just join. You put it at 80 seconds, it. damn it. I know, I suck. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. <laughs> I can't, can I? No, no, I can't change it. Okay, well, then we'll just have to be quick about it. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, okay. Oh my God, it's good. Whoa, okay. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, oh, is it? Never mind. Oh. Okay. What did you think it was? A no. toilet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh okay, you know. yeah. What even is it? What we are supposed to write? <laughs> <laughs> it's the small variant of the thing they put in chat. Fishball is not a thing. No, that's no. not a thing. I think fish soup. Oh, it's ah, okay. It's where you put the. I thought it was where 
where you put the fish in to eat it, but it's where the fish swims. If it's uh, yes, of course oh, it is. It didn't look like a fish bowl. To be honest, <laughs> look like a soup bowl. I go over here. Uh, what? That's that's his forehead. <laughs> oh, I thought I had it, but it was Jessica. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. <laughs> what? It ends in with C. What? No, that thing over there. That's on his forehead. That thing over there. <laughs> that. This one. Is on his forehead. What the heck are you talking about? How and did Kevin get that? He's what? wearing he's wearing glasses as well. Cause why not? And say <laughs> Oh my god, that's oh, right. Oh 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 uh... um <laughs> Magic. What? Why would you draw you, it like you that? You focus <laughs> you focus too much on a person. You focus too much on a person <laughs> there. <laughs> No, not magic, sorcery. <laughs> this. <d> <laughs> That's magic. God damn it! How do you write that? Like that. Oh, no. you can see it. <laughs> yeah, better. Come on, couch potatoes. <laughs> How do you spell that? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a mask. It's not a mask. No. <laughs> you gotta go back to, to school, sis. It's the opposite, it's, okay? It's, it's, from the, it's from the other religion. Since oh, one does the mask has a cross on it. Uh, <laughs> okay. No! Oh. <laughs> Oof. Lord. Get wrecked, nerd. May you rest in peace. <laughs> yeah, F's in chat. God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> I didn't even stop. I thought it was like the, the oh. on top of a mask. F's in chat. Uh, um. Oh my god, my tears came out. <laughs> well, I'm happy my... uh oh. Was that Nimbus 2000? Yes! Oh, I'm it. happy my failure makes you hope oh, makes yeah, you laugh. Oh my god. You know, if you're a sorcerer, you, you'd use this, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or if you're a witch. Or a witch. It's... Congratulations! Why is Remember so magic, soft? you know? <laughs> yeah? <sighs> I think I just effed up my whole uh... Yeah, you know, Harry Potter, you know. Yeah. They're right on those. Harry Potter on there. But well I did I didn't see Harry Potter at all. And I've never <laughs> seen the movie. Oh, okay. Well I've seen but I I don't remember it. Yeah, I've seen only like oh, two crap. movies of it, but uh, oh, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> is it easy? Yeah, it could be. But we need to be quick because we only have eighty seconds. Don't cheat. Nobody cheat. Oh, yes, I do. Where's your stream? It's already too late, bro. What are you, you finished it, you cheeky! Okay, this is gonna be horrible. It already is. You covered it! <laughs> yes, we smart. <laughs> oh, you got it, nice. You're a smart First. one. Got him. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> What's that, a llama? <laughs> what is that? Camo. I don't know what it is, it makes it ears. I don't think that's gonna help. Oh. What? What? No. Moo. Moo. Cow. <laughs> it's the most a ugly No, 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 no! I typed it in! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Quack quack! <laughs> <laughs> Should have wrote that. Nice. Should have wrote no, it in from the back. 
essentially you find it. when you were a kid. Booster is always on perfect timing with those sound effects. Yeah. Is that it? Yep. Oh! What? 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 How is that it? I get it. It's... it's... <laughs> Oh, death. What? What? Oh. Uh, what? Who is drawing this? Michelle. Oh, yeah. I got your reference, Michelle. I got gotcha. you. What the hell? Ah, yeah. Now it, yeah. What? Yeah, do the background. Oh. Uh, blank. Oh. From Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Right? I don't know that. Yeah. Blank. What was it from? From sure. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. It's a TV show, a cartoon from yeah, way back when. That, that. that I was still in the womb back then. No, you were not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you just made me feel old. Thanks. No, not you. Just Thurston. Okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> The most ugly thing you've ever seen. No, it's actually quite good. Oh, oh, uh. Yeah, go for it. Uh, no, it no. ends on an N. Oh, yeah, no. Right. What the? I know it's like a bird, but what kind? Oh, oh, that one. Oh, oh, uh, is that how your pigeons look like? Why is it not fat? Why is it this shitting it's on the not ground? A mirror you know? Image of you, Thurston. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh Ragnar. <laughs> how do you know that? Uh, we see your streams. Yeah, fuck. Again. Is that your sand castle? <laughs> <laughs> Sis, you only have 50 seconds. Hurry the frick up. Come on. <laughs> and she ruined it. Good job. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Why can't I. You keep That's... trying to draw the same thing. It's not gonna look better. That's you suck. <laughs> This is a face, so you uh, oh. okay. <laughs> Wait, is, is it now? <laughs> His mouth goes here. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god, you <laughs> suck! <laughs> what was the word? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, and you guessed it though! <laughs> What is this for, supposed to be? Trump oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, it missed the, you know, the things on top. Yeah, then I would have guessed it. It missed everything. It missed a lot of detail. Everything. The person, had, the person had more detail than the thing you should have guessed, you know? <laughs> there was not a single pixel right on that picture. <laughs> it, mo it missed those buttons on top, you know? Uh, it it, it, yeah, it missed know. everything. I couldn't um. even make the, what is it called? The the end of the trumpet mm. like, i couldn't even make that like what do you call it well, it was a hammer the end of them. the trumpet yeah that <laughs> oh, okay. so far so good clock is ticking though <laughs> just saying no pressure <laughs> yeah jessica has some problems sometimes with her phone not reacting to the oh is it the phone I think so, yeah. Ah. McDonald's. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> what? How, how do you, you do? <laughs> Without the A, yeah. Thank you, David. 
<laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I thought that was just a I clue. am kind of loving it. <laughs> yes. And I was thinking, on what, what can you get in there? Come on. Like, I was yes. thinking on fries and yeah. stuff. <laughs> oh, well done, Dave. Tap on your shoulder. <laughs> Absolute moron. <laughs> good night, Fagenzer. Yeah, good night, dude. Bye. The weekend shift is over in 30 minutes. Oh, you're. <laughs> good night. Bye, dude. Yeah, he's actually in voice chat, so he hears it probably twice. Yeah, he was hearing. Something you need a new one of, right? Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> when me and Kelson were playing, I was like. Oh, I can, I'm going to look if I can get Vergrenzer out, because I didn't know if it was he was supposed to be in there. So I almost kicked him out of the server. <laughs> well, don't ever try to do anything no, like that I if know. you don't I exactly know, know how. I thought, oh, you can, kick, you, can, you can kick him out of the voice chat. And then I was like, do you want to kick him out of the server? And I'm like, oh, no, no, I don't know if you can do that, but... No, um, I can't. Ah, okay, then we need to look into that because you can do a uh, disconnect and then you um, is drop he a someone Dutchie? out of voice. Uh, yeah, he's Belgian. Belgian, I think. Belgian, Belgian yeah. yeah. It was a From good the... drawing, right? <laughs> oh, not again. <laughs> I don't know this word. Um, I don't know this damn <clears> word. <throat> it's not it. That's not it out there. Oh. It is. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's. Oh, what is it? What? Oh, that thing. How do you call that? Shit. An, 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 a... It's easier than you think. There we yeah, go. Yeah, but we, we know the Dutch word. Oh, yeah, that's it. I think it's the same in every language. I don't even know the Dutch word. Uh, of it. Oh. What about it? Nah, you got it's... it. I thought it was the indeed. I thought it was a funnel as well. No, 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 no. What is it called in Dutch again? It's the same in English. Trechter. Oh, trechter, yeah, I don't know the English word. Trechter. There you go, Exxon, that was for you. <laughs> oh, filter? filter? Yeah, oh. it's coffee yeah, inside okay, a filter. Oh, oh. This is, oh, it, no, oh, it meant to be a chemist. I thought it was like butter, a chemical but, thing. With... Yeah, it meant to be a chemist, but it's alright. Uh, an Erlmeyer or something. Funnel doesn't have those uh, dots on it, does it? Depends on which color you get it in. A pool. <laughs> ah, shit! What? what? How was I close? What? Oh, oh yes. What? Um. No, because that won't fit. <laughs> What is it? I'm so close. You'll never guess this one. No, not with those letters. Oh. <laughs> this is the word, first time I've seen this word. Right. I mean, <laughs> never. Oh, no. Oh, you know what? You know that yeah. word. We have it in Sea of Thieves on the little boat. I don't know the word. Oars so, are the, so... the pedals. It's I also called an oar. Oh, the ruïe. Yeah. Ruïspan is an oar. Yeah, I didn't know. Oh, well, time. it's it's called that Oops. in the it's if, when you click the button on Sea of Thieves, a little boat, it it says grab ore, oh, grab ore. Pay attention to it. There's too much text on it, you know. Ah. So. No, you are booster. No, you are. It's, uh, yeah. At the same oh, no. time, <laughs> we think alike. Mm. Yeah. And I just don't read. What? How did she... Poop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a cave. Trench doesn't fit, Kelsen. <laughs> <laughs> you can squeeze it. Uh, huh? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Two people get it, ah. oh, okay. What? Ah, yeah, okay, I get it. What? Okay, props to the people who got it. What the heck? God save us now. The couch potatoes join.
Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <Yay>. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, you can one. get it. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, oh, for fuck's sake, how do you write it? <laughs> use. Oh, okay. Use, yes, use. You, you. Use. 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 Someone said use, so. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle is picking a word again, guys. This is, this is gonna be yeah. good. Legis. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There's the UFO. <laughs> ah, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> oh yeah, I got it. Oh. What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Looking at the bleep. <laughs> <laughs> That song is by my favorite what singer. Why would somebody lie on top? It's a sexy, <laughs> it's a sexy bleep. <laughs> Welcome to the bleep. <laughs> if I go to York, just tell me, by the way. Oh my god. <clears throat> I really need a touch screen for this. Oh yeah. No. Oh, there he goes Patrick. with his beautiful flames. Oh my god. <laughs> beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, Good it is. Word. Oh Jesus. Okay. The only thing you forgot was the word big on the side. Yeah. Yes, yes. But if you did that, I would have to say in this stream that it had product placement. <laughs> Monetized. Uh, no, I don't care. Oh, sorry. Is that a yellow person? No. Chinese. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Okay, you said okay you this, is, so this is supposed to be round. <laughs> round. Okay, close enough. <laughs> That's a perfect circle, thank you. Oh, um... Damn oh, it, I had this before! Them. Fuck! Uh... We oh, had this last, last time. Yeah, we did. Uh, what is it? We're still uh, up front though, but Gambin is coming in close, man. Silent killer. Mm. What on earth is that? Oh, come on. This if is I... not that bad. I don't know the word. Git, that's it. <laughs> Gambin, do you have a different name in the Discord server or are you not in the Discord server at all? Who are you? <laughs> no, I have, I've seen him before, but... G Gambin who? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I was gonna type Skittles as well. <laughs> Great minds think alike. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Patrick Eminem. <laughs> well, if it's not Skittles, it has to be Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> How did Michelle get this? 
I know it. I don't know if oh, I typed yeah. it correctly. Ah! Crap, oh, I gave yeah. it away. <laughs> Got it. How do you uh, write? Yeah. <laughs> Those Got are the it. wrong colors. I don't know which country you live in, but. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but which color? <laughs> Unless you're colorblind. Uh, that could be. That's, are you colorblind? Then it's fair. Any chance? Then no. I'm sorry. You're colorblind. <laughs> Better be, boy. <gasps> I was so confused. Yes. What? <laughs> what? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. It's it's cool, Jessica. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Okay. We love you, Jessica. You're amazing. Yeah, yes, yeah, you are. We do. Wait, if I lashed out. <laughs> <laughs> It's a donut? No. Weird. What? Weird. Yeah, okay, weird. we got it. I, sometimes I feel like Gordon Ramsay here, you know, I just get, you know, angry about it for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking raw, you know? <laughs> oh, Gambin is okay, macaroni. Ah, nice. Okay. Cool, mm. Gambin, cool. Macaroni is a member. Oh, okay. Hi, Mac and cheese. <laughs> Got it. Material. <laughs> Is that your signature? Yes. <laughs> That's my signature. Nice. It's not, it is now. <laughs> now I save this and I start selling it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Sup? I forgot I was just looking for doors open or not. Yeah, it is. Is it? No. Oh, it's closed. <laughs> oh, it's open all the way, bro. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Liquid as a material, Kelly? <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh. Cocktail What? What? Uh, what ladybird. Ladybird in Latin. Cocktail septum punctata. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hmm? Huh? No. Oh my god, they... Uh, oh, uh... Oh! <laughs> a Pokemon. Oh my what? god. What? <laughs> it's a poke... It's... Yeah. Is it a Pokeball? No, I see it, but... No, it's, it doesn't look it's like... It's not a Pokeball, but it's a nice try. <laughs> doesn't look like a... I want a Pokemon. Can't be a first generation. I would have known. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Cactus. <laughs> Very That's what I first thought too. too. It's easier than cactus. <laughs> it's way easier, yeah. This looks At so least this one has five fingers. Uh, yeah, Darcy. <laughs> ah, wreck nerd. <laughs> Using it right now, you know. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Just in time. Oh my god, this is the third round. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Piano. <laughs> just used to... Country. Oh. What? Looks like. Oh. Boot. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's the other way around, you silly sausage. I mean, who, it's facing the other way. Who guessed it so fast? It doesn't yeah, it matter. 
you what? Guess? What did I do? You just wrote county and someone guessed immediately like what it was for some reason. Yeah, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, that was me. It was so fast. Why? Because you, I saw crazy? the letters. No, I saw the letters and I was like, okay, Italy can fit. I'll try. I'll, I'll begin. Oh, I'll start okay. with Italy. It was oh, just okay. pure luck. Okay, okay. okay that's oh, okay. Was that Olympic torch? <laughs> that's the first thing I thought. Okay, how do ter, 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 or all Dutch people? How do you? How? What is English for? Uh, yeah, I tried uitre... it. Oh, never mind. Uit... No, Uit... no, no, no. Hello, uitdrijven. <laughs> what is that in English? Propose. Uitdrijven. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh. No. Okay. I like your style, Michelle. Yeah. I mean, this is an exorcism, right? <laughs> it's not. What is this? <laughs> exorcism! <laughs> Into oh. you! Yeah, okay, well, that's. So it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. Did yeah, you well... actually wrote blah blah backwards? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Alt uh, uh, ultimate. <laughs> backwards. Wow. First. <laughs> Mine was better, Patrick. <laughs> What's it called? In Dutch, it's even it, it's even weirder. It's like Sandwalker. Oh well, yeah. I don't know what's it called. Mm -hmm. oh. Ah, and there the went the Renzer. I know what that is, I not, don't know how it's called. Yeah, well, I said I can't, you can count the hours because the word is hour. <laughs> ah, well then. The... Oh, not me again. Oh, God, not me again. Yes, you again. Oh, God, okay. Still round three, dudes. We got it. I, I am going to drop out at 12 a.m., guys, which is in about 10 minutes. Because it's That's... getting late and I have to go to the office tomorrow. An hour and ten minutes. minutes. That's in your sack. Yeah, for you. For yes. us, it's not. <laughs> what? It started good, but. <laughs> Wait, I'm. Ah. I'm thinking of four different things here. Yes! <laughs> Finally. Hmm. You're almost there, people. Oh, just another. Why is word. that going on, and I don't see anything oh, happening? Oh, oh, oh. With a C. Wait, wait, like straight up. Oh, what goes straight up? Passenger flight. <laughs> yeah, type it. Type it. Oh my it. God! Three seconds. Oh, what? Uh, what? Aircraft? Aircraft? You, you, you typed that? No, I I did airplane. Motherfucker! <laughs> right. It's rigged. Oh. Yeah. Why is my Why is my chat not like? The yeah, but they're doing. Ever. They're doing. Tim did a um. What do you call? Or is that just very delayed or something? Here it happened as well. Was it just? It happens in streams. Of, uh, it might be just a delay. delay. Yeah, but Tim is oh, and Lord. Chef Beard are just doing a, uh, how do you call it? Treasure hunt, but there's nothing been typed in chat, so it's really weird. What? Oh, they did the same to me. I uh, linked all of your channels last time, and about uh, 30 minutes later, Streamlabs just gone crazy. Wow. <laughs> and linked all of yours twice. Who is drawing this? Oh, okay, Michelle. Michelle. No, I'm not. Wine. Wine. Oh. Wine. Oh. Okay. I don't it's know how to Kelson, does The last one you, is a different. The last when you one. Type it, Kelson, when you type it, do you see, does it say you're close? Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, okay. It should say in in uh, yellow. It should say like oh, almost, because it's where you almost had it. So it should say that. Yeah, it's hardcore delayed, Tim. Holy jeebus! It's crazy. Sometimes it doesn't recognize the words though. 
Yeah. Stupid. Piano. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god, we shot the same person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> we are so morbid. <laughs> Except for Gemin, he's sweet. Are you he's going to with. make draw something more, Kelson, or is this just what we? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> no, this is this just gonna <laughs> just gonna make more of what you already made. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to paint. <laughs> mm. Ah. What? Okay. Oh my god. I got it, Kelson. I got you covered. Mm. Is Axon still playing that uh, goat game? No, he's playing... Uh, Yay! Uh, green Hell. Again? Yeah. Wow. Thanks for the invite, let him know. Yeah, <laughs> she... Oh! <laughs> no, he's hey, Dave. playing by himself. Dave. What? Buddy, have you heard of uh, Subsistence? What's that? It's a pretty realistic hardcore survival game. No. And I remember a while back that Raptor's crew was trying to set a server up for everybody, but it never got off the ground. And I got it gifted for my birthday, last uh, birthday. And, um, wait a second. Oh, that's not I me. keep forgetting the word. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, what's the word again? Oh. Damn it. Thanks. Um, anyway, um, it's a pretty hardcore survival game. I got it for my birthday, and I am I think I'm gonna either set up a server or just try it out first with a few people to see how it goes. Would you be interested in joining us? With you? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Okay, well, <laughs> your loss. <laughs> no, he's gonna know. be there. What the hell is there? I have no idea. Fireplace. Oh, yeah, that's the word I keep forgetting. Open heart. Fireplace. Oh. But, 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 but oh, a Jesus. fireplace and a fire pit are two different things. Yes, Dave. Uh, it missed only that thing. Yeah, it the... missed the mantle. Yeah. Completely <laughs> mental. Technical I don't know. Uh, yes, I am. Okay, cool. At some point. Nice. Darkness. Yeah, sure. It's darkness. Yeah. Ace of Diamonds. Oh shit. You already guessed it. No. Uh, what? Like a card deck or something? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. I, that I is a pretty that hard one. Yeah, it's a hard one, yeah. Yeah, I mean... Me I don't know. Gambin slash macaroni. How the frick did you guess that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's insane. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh, she had a bad choice of words. Yeah, that was probably the best out of a bad situation. I've had that happen before. It's okay. No. <laughs> no. Nope. Not a windmill, guys. Thanks. <laughs> I wanted to type it, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. <gasps> what? Ah. Got it. Oh. Yeah, you're close, Kelson. I don't know how to spell it. It's okay. Uh. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's sky gliding or something like that. Yeah, oh, something no. like that. Oh, sky jeez. But sky diving is without a parachute. <laughs> if you sky dive without a parachute, you're in trouble, mate. But what was the black thing above it? Like, you're like a to skydive. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Bathroom. <laughs> what? How the hell did you all get that? Fucking hell, I hate how my tablet has this really... Use your mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Almost, Kelsen. Tired. Yeah, me too, bro. Without the S, Kelson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah. Come on. <laughs> Artists at work right here, guys. You've seen it here first. Uh, I don't know yet, Tim, but I'll uh, I'll uh, let the guys. I'll I'll put it in Discord when it's gonna happen. Antenna. <laughs> hmm. Ah, yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. Got it. Mm -hmm. What? Oh. Rip, rip, rip. What? That's actually really good. Yeah. yeah, that's how Michelle is, guys. She just she doesn't just like draw a a a a yeah. cup of McDonald's, <laughs> you know. Yeah, but I still don't know what that is. <laughs> it's American. They they only have those in America, I think. Uh, no. We don't, we don't have them here too. They they, they have it here, but this milkshake, kind you guys. usually see in America. Yeah, yeah that's that's true. Yeah, yeah that's the American <clears throat> kind. We have indeed. milkshakes, but we don't have them like this. In a cute they don't make them like they used to. Um, All right, we'll do Patrick's one, and then I'm gonna close the stream, guys, and then I'm gonna drop okay. out. But just know that I've won again. No, you didn't. Dude, look at the difference in points, man. <laughs> uh. Woo! I got it. <laughs> I got you, Patrick. I see it. Very good. Oh, oh what? My... Why is that? Shut up, Patrick. Thurston. Patrick. 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 What Patrick. Whatever. We got it. That's it. That's the point. Patrick. 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 How would you do a wire? A red. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> nice, right on the name. Um, I would actually make like. Um, oh my fucking god! This is gonna go horrible. Yeah. I just don't, yeah, but there's four more rounds to come. I just don't want to throw away my points, but I'm gonna have to. Oh god, this is gonna be so bad. No one is ever gonna guess this. It's a person, let's just say Give that. Me. It's a person. Yeah. <laughs> what? Ah. What? Looks like it fit too there. What? No. You already guessed oh. it. Holy shit, how the hell did they guess that? Oh my god, okay, uh, I think, okay, I'm just gonna write something, you're never gonna get, holy shit, how? Um... Yes, 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 yes. No, Luke, no? Yeah, 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 Click. Uh, of course not Donald Trump! Ah! Oh, 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 I was, I messed up. oh, you mistyped it. Oh, so sad. I never, me I never get the name wrong and just decide. Why, to get it wrong. sis? Why did you? You should have started with the freckles, motherfucker. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but how the hell did people get that? How? Because I was counting the stripes. Yeah, we're can, counting uh, letters here. Okay. Can I just say, Donald Trump and Doctor Phil are not black. 
And Donald Trump is yellow. <laughs> orange. He's orange. Orange. Orange, orange yeah, man. That's right. Orange and bold. Um, blonde. I was thinking about skin color. I saw uh, doctor and was like, oh, Dr. Finn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um... oh, it's writing documentary. <laughs> what? Huh? huh? Tile. So? Hot. Yes. Yes. Nice. I got it. Nice, Nigi. It's just the wrong colors, you know, that's all. Yeah, but what? that doesn't matter. Yum. Yum. Well, actually, yeah, and that color it could be too. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I don't see. What does he say? What does yeah. that say? Juice. Nice. I can't even read Juice. it. Huh? Hot shot. Uh, what? Well, How the hell did to... you get that? Just hot and. I count the stripes again and then yeah oh i didn't even read hot i couldn't read it uh, <laughs> i thought it was a j yeah you probably yeah. have a good handwriting don't you hmm? what? woman me no i never said i do hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what? Big. Big brain, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Neutron, yes! Jimmy Neutron. Ah uh, yes, Jimmy Neutron, of course. Uh, what? <clears throat> ah. Close. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Without Michelle, I would have never. Whoa, I wouldn't even know what the E is. I wouldn't even remember what to write. Yes, MC Square. Oh my god, I'm gonna get out of here. Wait, okay. Last one, last one. Only this one is last. He's last. Do so. one more. Dave. Dave is strong right. now. Dave. Oh, it's going upwards? I thought it was yeah, going downwards. The numbers are. Um, are oh, yeah. So this is the last one, right? From the I think so. It should be. No. Or it's the or first one. One, two, three, four, five, six left. What? Yeah, I don't know how this works. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> how? <laughs> what? Oh, God. Oh, I don't know the English word. What do you mean you don't know? Uh, oh, 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 I know. Yes. Oop. Uh. I can say it in Swedish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Green oh, yeah. Yeah. Is it is it eagle? Because in Dutch it's eagle. It's almost the eagle. same. Yeah. Schön. I love how it's just eagle and eagle and hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about trees? In like French and English and everything, and then in Dutch. <laughs> Boom. Oh, got it. <laughs> what tree? What? Did you say tree? Yeah. It's in Hungarian. Oh. Fa. 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 Huh? Fa you, man. Fa you. What's fa tree in? Mm -hmm. In Hungarian. Oh. What is in other languages tree? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't hear that. Baum. Well, Darcy in Baum? Dutch is boom. Yes, no way. and in other languages, I'd like to refer you to a nice little page called translate.google.com. No, oh, I thought we were comparing languages. Dude, we only have English and Hungarian, Swedish. I mean, we got those, Dutch okay? Dutch and German, so we have a few. Yeah, but well, those we, we already went over. Um. <laughs> the noise. Like something. Yes. Pew! 
pew pew. Or like bam bam. Yeah. <laughs> brah, brah. <laughs> 18 plus words. <laughs> Cowboys use them all the time, you know? Yeah. Boy. Oh, boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. You oh gave me God. the clue with the cowboy. You know the thing spins in it, you know? Yeah, too late. Hee <laughs> hee. Revolves around yeah, it itself. Revolves. I should have just said that. Okay, I'm going to do one last one, guys, and then I'm going to get, gonna get yeah, out of here. That, yeah, I know. You're never okay. Gonna go. okay, it's an easy one. Just oh, make it as hard as possible. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, Dave. Correct. Uh, <laughs> Do you know how to say it very nicely? No. Kedves egészségedre. That's how you put in front. That's why is it easier to say hopzi when it's someone's It's the same sneezing. as Kerstin and Sefen. Yeah, similar. Mm -hmm. Happy. What? Yes. Happy B derb. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Huh? Why? Twenty seconds. You is that enough to type it? You just do it. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Jeez, I was just thinking, why aren't you making the things that it's actually about? <laughs> because it's too easy. Jeez. And one pink one. Oh. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Everybody got it. They're just typing, mistyping it. What is the herb for Happy Bee Day? But what is herb? Don't be derp. Derp. Why? Yeah, it could also be a B P. I don't know, be just because. Be I don't know. <laughs> be derp. Happy be derp. I don't know. Who even says that? Mm. I love you, Misha. That's a beautiful cat. <laughs> no. Damn, that's a good cat. <laughs> that's a good cat? Is that the anus? What are we looking oh. at? Thirst! Yes. <laughs> do, you have like a, do you have like a drawing board or something? It's, or a, good, it's a good cat. That's a good drawing of a cat. Oh my god. What, what is this? What? What? This, it's standing on one... There's the back of the cat. This, it's standing on one... It's licking his front paws with the right... No? Mm. It's from Damn, a different details. perspective. Holy crap. I don't get it. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to head out here. So thank you uh, for uh, having Bye. us. And thank you for playing with us. Thank you. And um, Bye. have fun. Bye. Bye. Oh, this is easy. Bye. Wait, this is No, no, no. It's, uh, you know. Oh, it's uh, baby. Okay, bye. Bye. Easy win. Bye. Bye, Sneaky. Bye. 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 See you next time. Till next time. next time. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. We are the Couch Potatoes, and today... <laughs> just kidding. Today we've been playing a little Scriblio with the guys. Wait, let me drop out here, otherwise uh, we have to draw. Who's high? Hi. I don't know who's high. Why is he high? You. you. Who are you referring to? <laughs> me. No, I don't know. So, thank you guys for watching. Th yes, thank you, Booster. Thank you all for being here. You guys are amazing. And um, the Couch Potatoes have done a little bit of a um, reaction thing on the UB forward. Almost forgot about it after the game. And uh, we've been playing a little Scriblio, which was fun with uh, a lot of the... Um... Oh, Morgan Freeman looked stoned. Yeah, he definitely <laughs> yeah, did. did. He definitely <laughs> did. <laughs> Wait, let me... I don't know if they're here, but let me tell them. Sis? Yeah? Tim thought your Morgan Freeman looked stoned. <laughs> all right yeah, well, bye <laughs> <laughs> all right so thank you all for watching and i hope to see you uh next time i hope you have a beautiful day evening morning whatever it is to yeah and um uh we could do maybe i'll i'll have to look into it into it because um i want to get more people in there tim so we'll see but i'll keep you posted on when it's gonna happen i promise all right Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a beautiful day. And uh, yeah. see you next time. Bye bye. bye. bye.